Music's bumping, what the fuck? I'm just like chilling and people watching. Feeling out the fucking town a little. I'm also eating a scrumptious cup of ramen. That shit's so good. Even though it's incredibly unhealthy for you. Ugh. <sighs> Telegram to send you. Be safe, okay, Phil. Be safe. Are you heading to bed too, mm -hmm. or just checking on Mark? Oh, oh, I got. Yeah, what? Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be here for the meeting and asking Mr. Corner all the questions. Okay. I might be free after if if you're still up and maybe you want to go to the gym. No, I just haven't been able to prep. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. It's just, it's just, it just has a 
take all of I don't know. Okay, be careful because it's night time. <laughs> Good job. Get to work. <laughs> this is a corner I think might be running a few minutes late. I had correspondence from him earlier. Oh, yeah? That's all right. Been kind of people watching so far. Seems busy outside. Extremely busy. Mm-hmm. Hi, Miss Abigail. Hi, Marjorie. Hello. Hello, hello. Your poker article is published there, uh, Robert. I noticed. I opened up the newspaper this morning, or I, I <laughs> bought it from the store, and uh, oh, goodness, I was, I was pickled. So good. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's thanks to your uh, wise guidance. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we got to figure out and what's next. The ritualistic next. murder of two significant citizens of the Cross and the Blood Witch Morgana Fay. I thought it was Morgan Fay. Morgana so sounds a little physical. spookier. It does sound spookier, but I don't know if it's accurate. Accuracy is key. Sees justice in Sisica after turning herself in for her terrible misdeeds. Faye, who was known for draining the blood of her victims and consuming it, was charged with two counts of second degree murder. And for her crime, she won't be having any blood, but will now be enjoying the culinary delights of canned baked beans, milk, and apples. <laughs> <laughs> Why is milk in quotes? Uh, presumably because it's not certain whether it's actual milk that's served over at the... At the prison. It makes me feel um, so great that um, rewriting my milk delivery. Mmm, <laughs> mm hmm, yeah. Good to have those articles side by side, right? <laughs> Let's see what's here still. Um, I published, uh, okay, the auction article got published earlier. Update your next of kin. Is that still in here? Um, yes, it's down at the bottom there. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that everything that needs to be in the paper is in the paper. Seems so. still in. Okay. Could you, are you able to move Poker Knight up a bit more? You know, maybe get more, uh... RSVP. I can, yes, but I don't think I want to until, unless we discuss, unless I discuss that with the corner. Mark. Oh, did you want to buy this gem pouch, by the way? Still selling me that pouch. Yes, I will sell you the pouch. What was it? I don't have cash on me. Fifteen. Fifteen. You don't have cash on you. Did you no. waste it all at the table last night? <laughs> no, it's in the bank. I never can walk around with more than five dollars in my pocket. Why? I mean, Why would I? I don't know. Well, see, here's the thing. If a robber catches you out and you got $100 in your pocket, they might not take your weapons. My, my weapons are them, just cattle. Just take the money. Oh, well, then never mind. We'll go after them. Howdy! I make myself so impoverished, they wouldn't want to even touch me. They would, If anything, they would give me whatever they robbed from the last guy. I mean, or they might hurt you. I'll hurt That's them sorry. with my good looks. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you need help at all? It's not. Sorry, what? Oh, nothing. I was just uh, asking this fella if he wants help. If not, that's, that's okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, you get an eight on ready? And oh, yeah. I'm going to go snooping. It's around. Um, everybody oh, make sorry it inside. That. There's gunfire. Oh, yep. yep. I'm looking for... Uh,
Okay, bank maybe? danger out there right now there's a situation at the bank deputy oh uh, yeah i yeah. saw some people uh, coming everybody from the please bank. remain inside or or leave the town if you can we sure will all right take out your saints daily revolvers and we're going to take the news into our own hands I wonder why. Are you really looking forward to going? I hate waiting. Hate waiting. Last one I went to started a war. Do you know that? I did not know that. The bride got a little bit too lippy, so I cracked her skull open. What'd you think about that? What was that? You heard me. I'm sorry, I was having to have another conversation. Oh, y'all are having little secret uh, discussions out there, aren't you? Hey, you having some in there? Oh, is that who I think it is? Why don't you pack your bags and go? Hey, Stark, why don't you stand up? Go ahead. So I'm just going to ask to clarify. Do you have one hostage in there? Who else is with you? Oh, Which with me? Yeah. Well, I got, I got, there's three of us in here, one hostage, and there's one out there. He might be on the roof. There's one out here, okay. Ooh, yeah. He gives me the signal, I'll kill this hostage. Why would he be giving you any signal to kill a hostage? Get well, the fuck out of here. might be trying something funky. What might that be? Trying to kill my horse.
Why can't I move? Back in the bank and uh, listened in on the window. Did you? Yes. Oh, oh, that's very brave of you. Um, <clears throat> they have a hostage and they have someone outside on roofs, so it's probably good we're in here. That's why I kind of left. Uh, hostage. Okay. No, yep. I think it's uh, Kettleman. The, the hostage is Kettleman, or no, the group doing that. Oh, great. I don't know who the hostage is. But a bunch more uh, law arrived. Okay. I'm quite fearful. Mm-hmm. That if I stay like this for too long, I may never get up again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stand. I'm on borrowed you could time right go now. go and, and sit on that bench if you'd like. I'm sure that would be fine. No one would even notice you over in that corner by the fireplace. It's so dark. It's true. And it's actually true. still enough, they won't see me. I'll blend in. They won't. The I promise. Furniture. <laughs> you know how many things I overhear in here just sitting at these chairs right here? A great many. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta relog. This is fucking fucking me up. I mean, there's a, there, there may be a low risk of physical damage, but if you think outside the box, think about the potential mental impact of being a hostage in a high-stakes high situation. Having been a hostage three times myself and kidnapped twice, I perfectly understand. Does it leave you with mental scarring? Well, eventually it gets to the point where you realize the reality is you're probably not going to be harmed. So, right. yes, it's inconvenient and frustrating, and uh, it was certainly terrifying the first couple of times that it happened, but uh, once you sort of get an idea of how people operate, well, there are a great many other things to be terrified of. So would you say you become <laughs> immune to the fear at a point? I would say a certain desens desensitization takes place. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us. You're welcome. I don't want to minimize your fear or anything like that, but... Uh, uh, let it give you some reassurance, I hope. Yeah, well, it's good to listen to people. Especially if you have many. The best thing you can do in a hostage situation like that is to take note of what everybody's wearing, um, ask questions, try to hear names, things like that, stuff that you can give to the law after the whole thing is over. Mm, mm, that is, that's a good point, actually. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, man, no. Hi, Deputy. Hi. Is it over? Is the coast clear no. yet? No. Oh, okay. shit. I, I was out that. hiding in a bush. It's a good place hiding in a bush. You could just take a leak and not pay your pants. You need backup? We could rise up. <laughs> not this guy. Uh, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm correct. I believe you all are safe now. Thank you. Well, yeah, you're all right. Y'all right. can come out. Appreciate you, thank them. Good thing I would have. I would have met those guys.
Yeah. 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 What is your name, sir? Robert. Robert Fisher. Yes. Ah, Homer. It's lovely to make your acquaintance again, Mr. Fisher. You are. It is a. You are a sap for sore eyes right now. Likewise. It's been a while. How are you? It has been some time. You look like you dressed up a bit since we last saw each other. Like you found your place in the world. I think I'm still finding it, but yeah, I feel like I'm finally on that path. I I'm glad, because last time you were insatiable gambling addict well i'm still no that oh, well, oh, okay. well but now so i have money. money yeah now i have money so you, that's it, all that matters mr fisher and uh, you know it's it's nice to see that you're you're still with us yeah thankfully you know, so what you going up to nowadays these days i, I uh, write for the saints daily oh you always were a writer weren't you that was what you were good at yeah good with words i think around that time i met you i sent off a telegram to the the paper just to you know express my interest so right and they obviously uh impressed with your work i don't know i just got an article printed today so i'm very happy about that is that in today's issue yes well, i'll be looking out for it what's the title it's, it's about gambling <laughs> is it really yeah. i would never have guessed some people just don't change, do they, Mr. Fisher? No, you gotta... The fundamentals are always the same. Consistency is key. I quite agree. Stay true to yourself. Exactly. Now, what about you? What have you been up to? Well, I, I, I had to leave the crossing for quite some time. I had a family issue that mm -hmm. I had to go and deal with a, uh, you know, a funeral. Uh, but because I obviously come from quite some way away... The traveling time is extensive, but mm. I'm back, and I'm happy to be back. Well, welcome back. It's good to see you again. It's good to see a friendly face in this town. Yeah, I, I couldn't quite work out of it with you, because you you have definitely scrubbed up way uh, better than you had before. You had that, that horrible scraggly tail. Oh, come on. I didn't want to say it at the time, but seeing as it's gone now, I feel more comfortable making a making a statement on it. I had to cut it because some fellas were hunting me down. They rubbed coal in my hair, so I had black hair for a bit. Oh, it looks great. I I think it looks great. I think you oh, have uh, you. done yourself a a uh, a good service there by changing your hairstyle. Perhaps, perhaps I didn't have the mustache before either. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, you know, it's mustaches are, are fine, but it can cause issues with food sometimes. Yeah, I'm learning that quickly get stuck in there and uh but then at least it's up there for later that's true that's true you have to look at the positives the silver linings <laughs> yeah the, the save for later leftovers quite quite well I, I won't keep it too long oh sorry ma'am dreadfully sorry a step on coiner's desk oh it's mine now so thank you oh is it yours oh no oh, i'm sorry <laughs> I, well at least i went to the side of it oh this is where yeah, you work yeah. 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 oh i had no idea that's why <laughs> I had absolutely no I'm idea. Santino, My mind has been blown. You have four reporters right. in here right now. Right. I have been enlightened to the truth. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think Quinner said that the dice are getting moved around, so you're going to be on that one still? Yeah, I think that one still. Mm -hmm. And then Quinner and Abigail are going to be here. So um, you and Elsie are sharing that one. Perfect. <laughs> I've never seen so many intellectuals in one place. <laughs> I think we're just thirsty for knowledge, and that's really it. Mm -hmm. well, that's, I think that is how society moves forward, is people like you. I don't know. I feel like society would end with people like me because the sheriffs tell us, you know, stay inside, and all I hear is, come, come, out, come to the bank and listen. Drop yeah, some yeah, yeah. yeah, what I mean is you have your place. You know, I would, <laughs> Robert, I wouldn't want you running the, running the, 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 the state. God, no. God, God forbid that ever happens. We'd all be gambling addicts. Exactly. We'd all have insatiable gambling addictions. No, everything and everything in the society would be decided by gambling. <laughs> you know, you would decide whether someone lives or someone dies by a blackjack. You gotta. That's gambling. Gotta gamble your life. Do you still play blackjack in the saloon here, 
Robert. I just played today. Uh, I, whoa, I, I had ten dollars in my pocket. And oh, I said, "Why whoa. not?" I had some time to kill. That ten dollars could have fed the orphans. What fed the the dealer? Well, I, I won. Then I won another ten, so it was twenty, and then I doubled down, and then I lost it all. It's always the way. Yeah. Your, so since I left, I have have to know this. What, what has been your biggest win? Uh, on a single hand. Have you gone for any big hands? Yes, I was up about thirteen hundred. Oh, um, boy. in a game in tumbleweed. That was a very interesting game. You were playing in tumbleweed. Yeah, it was. Now forgive me, uh, my, my my memory is not so good. Is that the one that's in the middle of absolute nowhere? Yeah, all the way at the end of a long, dusty road. Um, I was kind of drunk in Valentine's Saloon, and someone came up with a carriage and said, Hey, big game, big game, everyone hop on in. I said, you know, sure. So I hopped on in, and here I am, and or here I, there I was, uh, playing poker with uh, some outlaws and a Sunday school teacher. A Sunday school teacher? Gambling? Yeah, Miss Goose. She was. She's a sweetheart. I mean that is one that is one hell of a story. And you were up on that day. Yeah, I actually I, I got up to that twelve or thirteen hundred when I busted out Tommy Two Snakes. Tommy Two Snakes. He yeah. doesn't sound like a pleasant fella. No, he got pissed and unloaded his gun into the ceiling. Right. That's probably quite a, a happening thing in, in, in Tumbleweed. Oh yeah. It actually happened in Valentine not too long ago, too, but it wasn't related to poker. I think gambling can bring out the best and the worst in people. Alright, perfect. I think it's just you putting your true self out there on the table. You know, it's all a game of bluffs and deceiving, but you, in a way, you kind of yeah. show your true self. To be fair, though, when I play uh, any gambling, I only ever do blackjack, so I don't think there's too much deceit involved. It's just look no that's just teamwork if you got some friends or if it's uh, just you and the dealer then yeah it's just kind of swimming up river yeah yeah uh, but at least there uh, ain't no gonna be no conflict but i think with poker that can land you in some hot water if you're playing with the wrong people and you win um i haven't seen anyone really get that uh ornery over losing you know there'll be some ribbon and screaming and hollering or you know letting uh you know, squeezing the trigger of a revolver, but it's never at a person, so... I've played in a lot of games, and they've stayed relatively, uh, peaceful. Right. I mean, you could make a story out of it if they did. Oh, yeah, of course. There's a... There's a decorum to it, and some of them take it a little too seriously for my taste, but, uh... Quite. I quite agree, and... Uh, I guess, you know, don't... Gamble what you can't afford to lose is, is is how it should be. And then if you can afford to lose it, it shouldn't make you too mad. Exactly. Now, Robert, I have a favor to ask. Of course. You don't happen to have a bite to eat on you. I do indeed. May I borrow some food? I'll pay you back sometime. No, it's fine. Uh, actually, this is me paying you back. Uh, That's very kind. Because you taught me how to hunt, and uh, that was some uh, local game I caught yesterday. That's not bad. Well... Uh, one yeah, good turn uh, deserves another, I suppose. Exactly. You taught me how to shoot a gun, and I've been trying my yeah, best ever what, since. Jack um, oh, I was worried like you wouldn't remember encounter? me, because most people don't. But I'm glad you did. Oh, absolutely. No, how could I forget? We had, we had such a, a great time. It's been uh, it, it's been hectic the last few days. Like I said, I had folk looking out for me, so... Yeah, well, you've got yourself yeah, right. some friends okay. now in the business. Thankfully, yes. Do you do, have you seen those two ladies around recently whose names I cannot oh, remember? Right. Oh, the, the one ones, we were around that day. Uh, the, I think one was uh, she had the, like, an the Irish, Irish yeah. lady. All right, I've seen on. her around. Yeah. Oh, you have. They're still well, as far as you're aware. Yeah, they they still seem pretty well. Oh, that's good. I, you know, I'm. When you go away for so long, anything can happen. And I, I think. I wonder if they left the meeting. There's a there's a Saints Daily meeting, so I hate to cut yeah, the yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, I know, so and I don't want up. to hold you here. I, if you have that meeting, I, I just assume they would have it here, but I guess not, perhaps. Usually they do, so that's what I was confused about. Um, I'm going to commit this to memory, but do you have your telegram offhand? Uh, yeah. I may have took it, but just in case I didn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, not. My memory is not so good. Let me ask the man. He might know. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, uh, U N five three zero. 
UN530. Okay, I think I may have had that, but uh, if I don't, uh, I'll show you a telegram yeah, but, 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 on what to go on again. I, I did have yours, but I lost my notebook in a, in a, in a water accident. Oh, no. So, uh, could you give me yours again before you'll meet Yeah, of course. It's a CZ041. Right, I think your compadres are here, so I'm going to disappear and head off to the Rose General Store. Uh, Miss Elsie, I'll be in the General Store if you need me. All right, Elsie. All right, Homer, I'll see you around. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, my pleasure. Have a lovely meeting. Mm, Hi, Robert. You gave me that disc. Corner. <laughs> How are you? Disc. Yeah, all right enough. Hi, all right Dad. enough. Oh, I feel like my blue's off. Oh. Hi. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. What the oh. fuck uh, do you... Ed, <laughs> can you come can the I, fuck down, Ed? Can I have five dollars? You five dollars? Yeah, I okay. I gambled all my money, and then I went to sign a telegram, and then I realized I was broke, so I went to the bank, and then the bank has been robbed, so now I can't get any money. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's. Thank that's, you. A that's all I have at twenty. Thank Just take it. Money. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go say bye to him real quick. Joe, yep. Tell him bye for me too. Yep. I'll try to be quick. Okay, so you was gonna be used as a hostage, Elsie? Is that is that what I was understanding? No, no, no. It was well, you know. Could have um, been could have been, could have been. Um basically <laughs> I was here a lot, around a lot for uh, meeting people to deal with advertisements for them and uh jack kettleman was here and i didn't know who he was at the time but then dr mcconnell was like i think that's jack kettleman and i said oh okay um anyhow so so there was a time when he came into the office and he was like i keep running into you like how many telegrams do you have anyhow and then he found out i was a reporter because i was panicking or nervous and i told him and then he seemed to want to talk Oh yeah, uh -huh. he likes assault, so uh, just be mindful of that, because uh, he'll yeah. want to do that. He'll want to corner you and try to get you to write something or say something or do uh -huh. something, and yeah, yes. he's that so, sort of guy. Right, so that's kind of what was happening, and I said, let's talk here, and he was like, mm -hmm. no, I'd like to talk in dark corner uh, where no one can hear us, and I was like, oh, and I tried to insist staying here, but he just walked out, so... Uh, and did he do that thing where it's like no come on let's go talking in dark yeah. corner and then he goes walking off right thinking that you're gonna follow him and you don't mm, well um so i didn't want to upset him so i did but not into a dark corner um anyhow basically one of the things that was alarming was he asked me how much money i had and i said i didn't know and he was like yes you do know and i said no i don't and then he we started he started walking to the bank and he was like come on and i was like uh and then miss Sadie saved me beautiful yeah and it makes me feel real great about having a conversation well a bad conversation with him outside of the bank previously which... right okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so i think what we're gonna do uh and i'm sure that abigail could probably help you out with this as well too is that we're gonna have a training session specifically how to talk to unsavory folk at oh. some point or another. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get in on it, Robert, uh, Absolutely. Abigail and I could probably uh, help out with that because there's going to be on occasions that you will run into individuals that are just going to try to yank you one way or another to get you to do what it is that they want and not necessarily what sort of freedom or sort of agency that you have for yourself. And that's the thing is that you could say yes, you could say no, you could do whatever it is. Me, I personally like to entertain the situation and just say, all right, let's see where we're going with it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, see where it goes. And, uh, you know, I'll play around with it. But if you do care about your own safety and such, then I would probably not agree to certain things. Now, I could easily train you all to sort out who it is is probably the unsavory type of folk, um, especially Jack Kettleman, Wallaby Kid, that sort of thing. Some of them are not going to necessarily hurt you or harm you or use you for anything because they do respect the paper and respect what we do. Jack does not have respect for that. He doesn't have respect for us at all. So it's just something to keep in mind about what it is that he tends to do. If you ever meet Jack Kettleman again, at least, you know, Audrey, Elsie, you know what he sounds like now, right? Mm -hmm. And he's got the mustache and... Mm -hmm. Bald head, all that, and, you know, he doesn't, doesn't dress very well. And a missing eye. Yep. So 
now that you're apprised of what he looks like, at least now you know exactly how to anticipate something from him. So probably moving forward, him in particular, I'm going to bar from any sort of interaction with the paper. So in case you guys do need to talk to him about anything whatsoever, he has a list of associates that you could talk to instead, and they're easier to deal with than him. It's not necessarily he is a danger to you or he's going to probably waste your time. I mean, he will, but it's just something where he has his own agenda and he's going to try to make you do it. And that's the thing is that we have our own agenda as well. And we don't have to play his game. We don't have to play ball with him at all. Hmm. Right. It sounded like, well, Miss Abigail was helping me figure it out, but it sounded like he wanted me to write something for the paper, but not hmm. reveal that he was the source. Tell him, what it, tell him what he said about the one article you were telling me about. Oh, he said that uh, his his protege, James Kelly, should uh, be praised more or something like that for standing we, up to Gavin Summers. We we don't. Here's the thing is that we, we report on certain instances here in the crossing. All right. Mm -hmm. In no way, shape or form do we glorify anything that a criminal does, because that's not what we want to do. We are not a unlawful periodical or a lawful one. And what we want to do is right. encourage diligence with the citizenry here in the crossing and how to deal with certain unlawfulness that may occur on occasions so if we do see say for example dickheads doing things that they want to do bullying folk into you know what it is that they think that they deserve that's not what we try to encourage so if there's anybody out right. there like thinking that they could just push people uh and and get what it is that they want we're not going to glorify that not in any way shape or form so are we going to give glory to james kelly no are we going to report what it is that he wants us to say something about yeah sure we'll say something about it at the end of the day, what's James Kelly to us? Not a hell of a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew that, but I, I wasn't about to tell him that. I mean, I told that to his face. You know, the guy you know, the other day oh, decided okay. to kiss me in the mouth. So it's just not really Wait, on the what? mouth. It was like really close to the mouth. He kissed me on the cheek because I published that article. And I said, he goes, oh, what, what happened to my store? And I go, it's in the paper. It's been there for a day. And he goes, what? And he ran over to the general store, grabbed a paper, came back over here, read it out loud to me jumped over the the, the balustrade here and just looked me right in the face grabbed my head and then sucked so close to my mouth i got so uncomfortable and then he walked away and i oh, go wow. and he goes thank you so much you're like my favorite reporter ever and he just walked away and i go i don't ever want that to ever happen again it's one hell of a yeah. tip so in no way shape if you read that article i didn't glorify him i just not at I all. just did. I just did it. You know, I just wrote the just facts. Stated right? the facts. Yep. And that's that's how cut and dry it needs to be. You know, like we don't give them a thumbs up. We don't give them a gold star. We don't. We don't give them. You know, hey, do it again. You know, like it's. But I do say that. I do say that to criminals. Is if you want to get in the paper, if you want to be talked about, don't be boring. And it's the truth. If you're just robbing a bank, if you're just robbing folk on the streets, if you're just taking horses and such, that's a Tuesday for us. We don't give a fuck about that. All right. But if you do something incredible, then yeah, we're going to talk about it, but we're going to do it in the blandest manner and not glorify you whatsoever. Just basically say, this is what happened. There you go. And that's it. That's how we have to frame it. And that's the thing is that we always have Just to worry about the basic questions. Yep. Who, what, when, where. That's all. Yep. So as long as we aren't glorifying, that's all that needs to be done. So because we play ball and we play nice with all the other different departments. And that's how it needs to be constantly. As long as you're doing that, mm -hmm. you're writing the story well. So, and you don't have to be involved with it either. Like most of the time that Abigail and I write something, it's because we're getting it secondhand or we're getting it, you know, firsthand. And we're not involved with it at all. So we're not in that shit. The only time that I've ever had to write an article and I was there for that was when 22 people were downed in Armadillo. And it was the start of the February oh, wow. war that we had. Oh the gosh. Del Lobos and everybody. Jeez. I just wanted to go fishing before a barrel race and I never got to the barrel races because I had to deal with that. We're going to go to Don Julio. And then pff, shit kicked off. I got stuck. It's terrible. Terrifying. Yep. But I have anyway. about a few first hand accounts, but that's all right. Yeah. I mean, you try not to get too involved with it, but sometimes you can't help it. That's true. Oh, all right. From. So what are we covering today? First off, we're going to go on around, all right? I'm going to start with uh, senior reporters and go all the way down to this. I like how we're arranged because I got <laughs> senior reporter right over here, and then I got uh -huh. my reporters right over here, and then our freelance uh -huh. uh, informant gentleman right over here, as well uh -huh. as writer. 
I also put that article that you had done uh, about the uh, polka in there Thank as well, you, too. Robin, yep. Mm -hmm. Now, here's our situation before I go in around with everyone. This is the st status that we have with the paper, is that we have a great deal of event announcements going on right now for the entirety of the week, which mm -hmm. means that at the moment, we are heavy. We have got a lot of stuff going on, and the problem is that the priority on the events kind of stands. It withstands. That means that we can't have a lot of good rotation with different articles that aren't necessarily advertisements or events so at the moment right now in terms of happenstances here in the Carlson news that we have informationals uh Carlson's finest boldest uh you know home on the rangers uh all of that might have to just take a second on that until the 24th that's what i'm saying it's just that we're going to take a bit on that on, until the 24th so unless it is unless something big happens right some some crazy motherfucker gets gets arrested right i'm talking mm. creed right for something horrible he's going away for like a month a year whatever we'll go ahead and report on that aside from that until the 24th when all these events drop off because the july 23rd is insane all right let me just go over what's going on in july 23rd 3 p.m okay. you have the ship captain crew tournament that's happening fundraising specifically for this scdh so for the department of health that's the fundraising that we have for it for Calvin. He's doing that. After that, 5 p.m., we have the blood drive that's going on. So a lot of people are getting tested for the blood to see whether or not they could be universal donors. Those people are going to come in 5 p.m., range by lock. That's that one. 6 p.m., the ranger run. All right? The ranger run is a big giant thing. I'm helping fund that. That is a $2,000 prize for first place. The prize pool is comprised of nearly $4,000. So it's a big thing that's happening at 6 p.m. Oh, wow. 7 p.m. Melee market. So that's reopening again with the management of Taipan Industries behind it as well, too. So it's going to be bigger and better than it was before. There's even possibly going to be fireworks during it. So just keep a mind out for that. Mm -hmm. Did they get arrested mm -hmm. recently? Yeah, and I've had a discussion with them, and now they're going to stay lawful because if they, at any point, Pull the lawfulness, we pull all of the articles. That's how it works, all right? <clears throat> Any organization that we have to deal with, if they have a history of unlawfulness, we have the full right and capacity of pulling every single one of their articles and, and striking the name from the paper. Easiest done. I don't care what kind of legitimate business you have. As a front, it comes down the second that you do something wrong, all right? Because we we, we're not going to play that game. Where we're getting one group pissed off at us, another group pissed off at us, law, you know, jumping down our throats. Never again, all right? Not playing that game. So we got that situation going. Uh, so back to Saturday. So after after the Ranger run, 7 p.m. Then we got the Melee Market. After the Melee Market, we've got 9 p.m. Uh, what's happening at 9 p.m.? Um, the uh, the next tournament that we have. So, oh, it, that's a... Again? Yeah, we'll just stay down here. That's fine. It's over there, not here. So, 9 p.m. We've got the next ship captain crew tournament. So it's a two-parter that you have. After that's all finished and done with. And I'm helping fund that one as well, too. So there's that one. Um, after that's all done with. Then we got... That's a lot of gunfire. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. Okay, so since the bank's been robbed, and I know that I got to pay all y'all... Do you want to leave? Uh, Should we leave? We could stay here. This is this is martial law. Staying, that's getting closer. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's time uh, to take the law in our own hands. We oh have God, Robert every time. Yes. Well, well. Here's the thing. We do have castle rules, so if we need to take care of this, we can. But we're not going to do that yeah. because we, they're not coming this way. If they do come this way, then we got an issue. Maybe we're passing, we, passing this way. Think about so. think about the potential of getting a live interview by horseback as they flee. Mm. What is motivating oh. you, sir? Why did you rob wow. the financial institution? <laughs> wow. Okay. The people need Good to know. Oh, goodness. Good job, Robin. <laughs> You're a very brave man. All right. Yeah. And perhaps a bit foolish. Yeah, just a bit. Back back to the discussion at hand. The events that we got on Saturday, 9 p.m. is the next ship captain crew, and then 10 p.m. is the next blood drive. There's a lot going on on that Saturday. A is lot there of not things... also the Artist Guild? There's also the Artist Guild. I don't know what time that is, but I know okay. that that's happening at some point as well, too. There's an overlap with that one. So once all of that is going on, that's the thing is that once it all passes and done with 
then we have a lot of room to wiggle. So back on the 20, once we get on the 24th, that Sunday, then we can do some things. All right. All right. So let's lighten it up just a little bit. If you got any heavier articles, that's what I'm going to be looking for right now in this week. Okay. That's what I would say. Concentrate on if you can. Um, just, advertise so, just soliciting advertisements or if you do advertisements that's completely fine if you okay. do advertisements we can do that if the if the paper for a week is just advertisements whatever <laughs> you know like but by the 24th that event entire like we have a column and a half now of just events that's all going to get cleared out so by next week this time next week it's i mean there be have been there's been nothing but news for the longest time actually we've had like a week and a half probably of all news articles so it's okay if it's swapping yeah. over to events and ads so honestly you could get more sales of the paper itself by putting a little piece of paper in the paper where if you cut it out and bring it to a store you get a discount i think that might be a good idea what you want to do coupons now is that what that is yeah that might be difficult because each general store might not sell it for the same price that's true so Uh, coupons are did Mm -hmm. did someone help you with your ad uh no not yet and i'm also looking for romeo too i don't know where he went but yeah okay Okay. oh are you miss spade Mm mm-hmm Oh, right. Yeah, we've been in correspondence together. Good. Um, so I wanted to assign that at some point because I did see your correspondence. I'm like, okay, well, I definitely need to talk with her. But we're having a yeah. meeting right now. So nice. um, how about this? Miss Spade, if you can hang around the town, especially during martial law because it's unsafe right now. So if you can just yeah. stick around here for a bit. And then uh, at some point, you know, we'll have a dis- one of us will have a discussion with you about getting your, uh, you know, ad in all the right. paper. All right. It's mm-hmm. fine for me. Yep. All right. Good. Uh, but congratulations on opening the restaurant. So. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. No worries. Oh, well, it's a Sorry, restaurant. Sorry, we're, we're under mm-hmm. martial law. Sort of. There was a lot of oh, gunfire was, just out to the uh, north of town, mm-hmm. um, and there was, was a bank the robbery. Bank. Uh, yeah, great. the bank robbery. So. Yep. I just got back from fishing, so that's really convenient. Yeah. So by all means, oh, if you want to stay inside here until someone mm-hmm. clears what? it out, then just stick around. Oh, so we got a Sadie coming in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, why the why the freaking hey, good Sadie? Howdy. Hey, hello. Okay. Yes. Did you were you near the gunshots or what's um I what just happened? got your telegram and then so I, there were shots like just a few minutes ago and then I'll, I'll, I know I'll, before yep. that too. Someone's apparently been pulled into the general store. Uh oh. just wanted to make sure that everybody here was okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're all right. So all right. you wanna stay here with us? Yeah, you're welcome. I'm gonna to. wait. No, I need to be able to check the medical board. Um, <laughs> what happened? Okay. I'm sorry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm sure I got like some auto moderator thing. Maybe it was like a link or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you could be in here. Anyway. Okay, sorry. So, uh, new policies and procedures that we have. I don't know. Specifically I no with idea. obituaries because we've had mud in our face twice. And I'm sick and tired of it. Me as right? the moderator. I think it so was, we're gonna uh, write any sort of obituaries that we have for the paper. This is what we need to do. We need to corroborate with law enforcement or medical to make sure. Now, medical has already been apprised of this, and if we ever go up yeah, to I a medical so, person and say all I need is confirmation on a death certificate, if it yeah, exists, so not for dashboard. this person, and they could just say yes or no. They don't have to give us any details of it, how they died, anything. That that's not even in terms of confidentiality. We're not supposed to know that. So they could just say no. yes or no. Simple as that. So once we get all of that situated and they say yes or no to us, that's all we need. All right. Confirmation from them or confirmation from the law saying, yes, we did the investigation. This person is defo fucking dead. Then you can go ahead and write that obituary for it. Mm-hmm. Next up as well, too, is that if you can as well, too, I'm sorry, with no. the obituaries, just decent policy and procedure that we just recently changed specifically for obituaries because again maybe, maybe it was like a face. tagged word i don't know if it's That's possible so stupid. i with apologize the, but no with i the, appreciate uh, it yeah, um, i'm enjoying robert department. a lot they have next to kin on their still record. keeping up with you it. Could ask them who next of kin is or you could present to them who's the one that prescribed to you that you need to write this obituary and say these are the people that are asking me for an obituary is this next of kin if they say yes go ahead and write it if they say no don't write it, come back to the person and basically telegram them back and say, look, you're not next to kin. Why are you asking me to write this obituary? You know, like it's, I would, I would need the next to kin to please contact the newspaper. That would be much appreciated. And just like, let them know politely that no, I cannot write this obituary at this time. However, if you can let next to kin know, that would be most appropriate. Hmm. Then we're going to do a mock obituary hey, uh, for everybody. So uh, what I'd like uh, for everyone is an assignment because just as practice is I want you all, here we go, 
This is going to be morbid, but fuck it. This is where we live right now. Abigail, Marjorie. I mean, Abigail's done one already, but do one anyway, Abigail. Um, Abigail, Marjorie, Elsie. And you know what? Why not, Robert? Go ahead as well, too. Mm -hmm. Write an obituary for me. Oh. I died. I thought right. I thought you were going to make us write our own. <laughs> no, write, write one for me. Uh, okay. so, so I so I died. Write an obituary for me. Um, for those that are officially on the paper as staff, go ahead and put a draft in there. We're not going to publish it, but I will just go ahead and see it. Then Robert, go, go ahead and uh, send me a telegram of my obituary. Okay. It is self-aggrandizing, but I don't really get a lot of chips on my shoulders. So go ahead and let me have this one. <laughs> okay, I will. Sorry. All if right. you need me to telegram me compliments every day, I'll do it. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Um... <laughs> So, so when, when it when it comes to uh, practice, this is definitely what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some mock writing because I think with this week, not really off, but like week where it's a little bit in terms of of usual columns and such, a little quieter because we're just trying to see the events pop off, and then once they go away, then we have so much more room to wiggle. Okay. Then yeah, we can go back to normal. Um, this is a good time for us to practice and just gather information and do training as well too, because I need to do information gathering practice with every single person here as well too. Abigail, you're doing very well at building the contacts. But at the same time, it's we need to get to the point that as soon as we have people know who we are, they come to us with their stories. We don't go to them. They come to us. That's how it works. Because I'm getting to the point now where way too many people are coming to me, and I'm sick and tired of it because I don't know whether or not you've seen how many articles oh, I wrote Oh, I finally saw your message. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. so, that is very nice. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Oh, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm really glad. I'm tired uh, of it. Um, so, I ran yeah. into you. At first, I didn't recognize yeah, yeah. you. I'm like, oh, oh, oh my um, God. Right. Uh, very now, back to the round that we got going over here. And we'll start with senior router Robert. that we have. Abigail, what's on your uh, table that you've got? Robert's planned definitely uh, at least some getting projects himself that you into have, some good uh, old black water about. RP. So. Uh, well, so I wrote four articles yesterday. So I don't have anything new for the week. Uh, obviously, we had the ads or the events going out. <laughs> if you have you. any of those that you want me to your head, please it. feel free to go ahead. The only other notices mm. I had was about the obituaries, hair. which you already covered. Um, other than that, I do have one yeah, ask Abby to write. But I'll, head, so I swear, the item. telegrams that I get with the questions, I have a heck of a time deciphering sometimes what they're actually asking. So uh, I'll do my best with this one, but I probably will hold off on publishing it until after the 24th, like you just did. And um, let's see. Uh, that's it. That's all I have. All right. All right, that's completely fine, especially for this week. It's going to be a little bit quieter, at least the way that we're going to approach it. Sometimes the stories will come to mm -hmm. us and we're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> but uh, should any advertisements come in, um, we'll go ahead and rotate those in because if the paper turns into just advertisements, at least be for this very, week, be very totally proud of fine. that game. Me too. All right? uh, and all the stories that you I got, I got a straight already, up headshot. While they get knocked off the paper for now, like, oh come God, back Homer into the paper so in terms well. of when everything falls away, you know, all the event notices and such, because once these events are done, they're not going to happen again for a long while, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Marjorie, what are you working on? Okay, uh, I don't have a lot right now, but I did mm -hmm. have the the one. I don't think that one thing that uh, I sent you before is mm -hmm. samples works, which is the milk delivery. So I yep. was going ahead and rewriting that because um, okay, sure. I looked over that and I yeah, was Robert like, oh, nearly I drowned in front of him. How could he forget him? <laughs> do that um mm -hmm. and then down the line i don't want to have a whole bunch of deliveries but um i was going to do wood, wood delivery as well you know try that one out mm -hmm. and then um i was maybe going to interview some more rangers for home on the rangers and i was going to write up the one for joey okay all right good so what i would say is that as well too is that when you do the home on the ranges and you interview the uh, rangers as well too for home on the ranges mm -hmm. i'm gonna I put you on your brother one. thank you so much just because uh, after I see what you do, at least in terms of my obituary, recently got some news from the uh, Rangers that uh, Art Thorn, so Arthur Thorn, passed last night. Oh. Oh. Where the fuck so, that is? Marjorie, I'm going to give that one to you because that's going to be a good like, headway in into building your relationship with the rest of the Rangers because what I need from you, at least in terms of that obituary, is you go in there, be as empathetic as possible, and I know that you are because you care about a lot of the Rangers, especially Joey. We go in there, have a discussion with them, see what sort of kind things that they have to say about their fellow brother that has just fallen. The perspectives and what they'd like to see, you know, his memory be, uh, be remembered as, and uh, see what you can write for that, all right? Yeah, of course. All righty, so that one's yours. 
Alright. Alright. And at some point as well, too, Madra, we're gonna work on uh, learning the top rider. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a thing. So, maybe as a little for, bit quicker. As for right now, my handwriting will look a little funny. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Alright. Because at the moment now, it's, it's you noticing that there's not a lot of footprints now because people are not disrespecting me directly anymore. Uh, so, because uh, I've decided that I'm allowing you to have my old corner desk that I've had for nearly an entire year. That one's completely yours now, Marjorie. Oh, <laughs> why do you want to give it up? Well, because I mean, now people yeah, are gonna stand you on it? your yeah, people are gonna stand on your desk, and you get to yell <laughs> at them. But uh, yeah, so whenever you come into the office and you need to do work and such, you can type it all up properly. So that way, when you get a little work on it, there, you get used to it, and all we're gonna hear is the clickety clacks of you getting all your stories out and such. <laughs> Whereas Abigail and I, we're going to be working on uh, Constance's old desk since uh, I already took some of the sheafs of uh, records and such that uh, Constance had before and uh, sent it off to uh, um, Saint Denis, uh, which she's been operating at uh, for the longest time. And uh, at the moment now, she's uh, she's in England. So uh, when she gets back, then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, prize of the new desk situation. Um, Elsie, you have uh, your desk there still with all the uh, nooks and crannies and such, but now it's exclusively yours. Uh, okay. and, uh, Robert, you're going to work, uh, kind of in between. So, uh, you got some records and stuff that you have to pull from Elsie's desk. And you also have, uh, some, uh, desk work and stuff that you got to work with on Madre's desk. So back and forth kind of thing. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Elsie, what are you working on? Okay. So I've got an ad for, um, Miss McCabe. Um, I mm -hmm. think she just sent me telegrams about those. And then... Um, I'm still waiting to hear from Mr. Tobias Graves about an, another ad. Graves. And I've been trying to contact Mr. Miguel, and we just keep missing each other. So we, we were supposed to meet today, but uh, uh, he might be busy. So I'm going to keep trying, though. Um, other than that, I have some more uh, sightseeing articles lined up um, mm. and some more informational. So I think I have one on coal, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, let me just check. One on coal and uh, a couple of like the more like um, in the vein of like how to fish, how to treasure hunt. So like I think I did, I'm thinking of doing one on mining. And okay. then I'm also thinking of a couple that are like how to make things so, like how to make coffee, like from, you know, brand coffee or something like that. How or how shit. to make uh, hand rolled cigarettes, that sort of thing. He's part All of right. Sand, yeah, that could definitely work. Mm -hmm. Robert doesn't know. Good. All righty. Well done. And uh, what we need to do, Elsie, as well, too, is that we need to get on in that uh, Alba uh, advert. Yes. Uh, specifically, Mr. McCain. He's had uh, issues with it, just uh, trying to schedule with me uh, and trying to get okay. his partner in on it because every time that he's around, his partner uh -huh. isn't and he wants me to meet his partner. So oh. at some point, you, me, Mr. McCain, and whoever his damn partner is, we're <laughs> all going to have a discussion and try to figure out a way to consolidate his business and not have oh. multiple because he's he has too many facets on it all right this okay. is the same thing that i told the top hand boys is that you can't just minutes. the way that we can do it right that we can mm -hmm. get away with certain things is that i use abigail's example very very well is that we got mr brower right mr brower okay. has an advertisement specifically looking for talent right that's an advertisement right he had at one point an advertisement for uh devil's whiskey that was coming out that's an event not an advertisement it's an advertisement event but it's specifically for an event, right? Then after that, we had a review for the movie come out. And that's a specifically different sort of article, right? And after that, we had a happenstantial piece of news that occurred, which right. is he got robbed during his event, right? Uh -huh. Robbed during event, wrote, review for the... So many things. This yeah. So, so many things. Robbed for that event. Uh, review oh. for the... Good Lord and almighty. What? How many... Uh -huh fucking shots can go off right now. Oh my god, it, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh that's my a lord. lot. That actually, okay. That's actually a lot. <gasps> and that's... Get down. Get down. Oh my god. Get down. Yep, Get down. that Get seems down. like the right thing to do. See, is it coming down? Okay, it seems to have quieted down. Fuck. Alright, we 
need medical right now. Up, up on my horse. All right then. No, they're not in time. Okay. Who did any of them mean? I say what? <laughs> oh goodness. All right, everyone in here's all right. <laughs> um, by the way, before you guys continue, um, sure. is Miss Jones here with you? Uh, yeah. Hi, that's me. Um, this is, uh, I'm Cora Vane. I was hoping to speak to you about that advertisement. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful to see you. Yes, absolutely. If you don't mind uh, waiting around for a little bit till I'm yeah, over. Yeah, of course, of course. Yep. All right, I'll come Nearly find done. you now to know what you look like. Yeah, I figured, uh, since you guys were down here, I thought it would be the, the perfect coincidence, so. Oh, yeah. Nearly I'll done. We'll be right over perfect. here. Yep, no worries. Thank you, though. All right, so. Where were you? Uh, so we're going to have a discussion about, uh, scheduling Mr. McCain. He says it's not imperative, but I want to get it done. Are you talking about combining his two ads into one? Yeah, because he can't, we can't do that. So it's just, he wants, he wants delineation between his investment and his whatever mining thing that he's got going on. Look, if you're going to do both, that's fine. Well, we can consolidate it into one thing and saying that he is capable of doing these things and it's a multifaceted business that he has. Totally fine. But unless he has some sort of event or we could swing the mining into an event sort of thing, like a regular event schedule, and then swing right. the investment into something else, we can't advertise them that much. We're trying to give enough fairness to everyone that's happening in the paper. So okay. when it came to the top hand boys, I explained that to them. And I'm like, the way that you could cheat the system is make it so that we have different columns for things. So he said, all right, yeah, fine. We could probably figure out how to do that. So melee market and then an advertisement for Way Industries, totally fine. Absolutely fine. That's, okay. that's completely fine because the event will fall off, but the advertisement for way industries will always be there. So that's how that works. Okay. Right. So, so that's... when will that meet me? Will you, will you let me no, know? No. Yeah. I'll let you know. Cause no clue. Okay. This guy is just so wishy washy when he wants to meet. So I have no idea. So once I oh, know, really? yeah, I'll let you know. Cause he doesn't, he doesn't let me. I go, when's good for you? Oh. And he goes, I'm having trouble finding my partner. <laughs> and I go, well, if your partner's dead, then hell, it's your business now. You maybe you stop calling it Alba and start naming it, you know, McCain. So how about that? I don't know. Oh, I, I suppose uh, it was different when it was just him. Cause he basically just said, give me a time and place. So I did. And then he showed up. All right. Well, okay. Fair enough. Um, way to make it complicated. Is it because I'm the editor? Is that why? I don't know. Well, I think it has to do with his partner that he can't find. Right, fair enough. Okay, well, hopefully his partner's not dead, so. Hopefully um, not. Stupid dead phone. All right, anyway. Uh, Robert, what are you working on? Uh, well, I have it on good information that there's something brewing from San Denis, I guess, between some of the various groups there, and I think it's spilling out to the rest of the crossing. So I'm going to probably, against my better judgment, just kind of hang around there and get to know folk and see what I can learn about that. Okay, well, um... Is your gun loaded? Absolutely. Lovely. All right. Well, you do understand, uh, like, you know, self-defense uh, engagement tactics. Yeah, good. If they shoot at you, you can shoot back. Perfect. All right. Good. All right. Just don't get dead. How about that? Uh, is it really that? Is it really that saucy out there? I don't oh, go yeah. to the city. Yeah. Uh, I don't fucking go to the city. You think I'm dumb? I was going to say, I think Miss Coors from there. Oh, yes. I am uh, part of Sam's Club. Yep. Yeah, I don't go down. Me is a hellhole. Yeah, no. That I love. Maybe, maybe she'd be willing to offer you some comments there, Rob. Yeah, I was about to say you might know a thing or two. Yeah. I might know go. a thing or two. I'm limited in what I can say, but maybe I can point you in the right direction. There you are. Honestly, that, that would be, be incredibly helpful. helpful. Yes. My first lead. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Now, usually I do payments after these meetings, but seeing as our bank just got fucking robbed, how about we wait until tomorrow and I'll meet with all of you individually? Is that all right? Yeah. Sure, that's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So once we have tomorrow sussed out, because in what timing? I swear to God, it's just so terrible. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, at the moment, we have here uh, we have a advertisement that needs to be seen to uh, for uh, Miss Lydia Spade. She has just opened up a uh, um, restaurant. Uh, not sure where, but I'm sure it's absolutely delicious, and I would love to give it a try. In fact, you know what? How about this? We're going to do an advertisement, but then at the same time, if someone can go over there and do a review as well, too, I'll put that on either Madri or Elsie. If you want to go have a chat with uh, Miss uh, um, Lydia Spade over there on the side near the fireplace, uh, she'll be right there waiting. Oh, wait. Um, is it the one outside of the St. Denis greenhouse? Yeah, that's him 
Mary's journey. Ooh, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen the notes um, hanging around. Yep. It's All right. Pretty. So how about this? Advertisement, Elsie, can you take care of that? And then review, sure. Madri, can you take care of that and have a, have a nice <laughs> meal? And here's the thing, yeah, is that what, know. here's the thing, whatever you pay for, Madri, you let me know and we'll compensate for, compensate you for that and we'll go ahead and pay Miss Cora as well, or Miss uh, uh, Lydia as well too, all right? Oh, okay. Just let me know on that. So review, Madri, advertisement, Elsie. All right. Perfect. Yeah. All righty, so. There we go. You got your uh, advertisement that you're going to get with Miss Vane here? Yep, I'll go take care of that. Absolutely. And I'll take Robert with me to for his comments go. that he wants to harvest. Yeah, and there you <laughs> go. Um, and do you have the the paper for that, that uh, the the copying job that you I do, talked yeah. about to me? Yeah. Can if I you have can that? Give me, yeah, if you can give me what the expenditure rate is for it, just let me know on that. Oh, okay. Yes, I would do that. Yeah, um, that how is, many copies does he want? Uh, I think... 10 at no 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 i think yeah 10 at most i don't know how, mu how much is too much i'll fill i'll fill one book okay. 10 is i usually just fill a, a book of advertisements um so that it's 60 dollars. 60 dollars. all right yeah i'll let him know actually okay, you know thank here. you make him pay me back and who's it ain't, for ain't dennis buzz, 716. Uh, buxton. buzz buxton not sure if i've met him He's a okay. uh, heavier set man, ginger hair, uh, has a ponytail, has a weird looking hat, uh, is really nice oh, and likes ranger, to hug right? you. He's a ranger, yep. He wants to hug you all okay, the time. He's a real nice guy. Sounds kind of like that. <laughs> okay, you're making it sound creepy. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I made it, I did make it sound creepy. It's not creepy. He's he's a nice guy, so. He wants to hug you all the time. <laughs> yeah, he wants to hug you all the time. Mm. He's he's like a teddy bear. He looks like he's a teddy bear. He's a teddy, it's not oh, creepy. I it's not creepy. I'll take, your, I'll take your word for it. He's a teddy bear. All right. Oh, gosh. I took notes during the meeting. I'll post them up on the bulletin board. All right. Oh, Appreciate thank you, you so much. Thank you, Ms. Abigail. You're welcome. All right. Come on, Robert. Hell's the bulletin board. <laughs> you, you'll see it when you get hired on if, if you don't go law. So there you go. Aww. All right. <laughs> Robert, get your contacts. Get your contacts, Robert. Wait, what? What? Where? Oh, oh no. She's run out there. All right. I love those Do you that got shot in that? Yes. <laughs> wonderful news. Yeah, Marjorie and Elsie both do a lot of those informational types of things, so uh, it's nice to have people around who know that kind of stuff, because I surely do not. I am, uh, I don't know if you heard, well, you definitely heard about, obviously, the uh, the passing of Cass. Um, I'm learning to cook in her memory, so the recipes have been really oh, good in there. Oh, that's lovely. And getting me up to scratch some of those things, so I uh, definitely wonderful. hope to see more of them. I'm sure there will be. You probably overheard that we'll be doing a lot of advertisements for events over the next couple of weeks, I guess, or week and a half, I suppose, because there's a whole lot of things going on on the 23rd. But on the 24th, oh, yes. you'll start seeing more of those news stories and editorials and informational things like that as well. So, so uh, the event that I wanted to advertise is actually for the 23rd as well. Oh, wow. Really? Another one? Okay, so this is yes. you're, you're doing an event advertisement, not an advertisement for a business. That's correct? Yeah, I would also like to do a, uh, a business advertisement, but I'm okay with leaving that until after the 23rd. Um, okay. If, if it's a case of space. That's fine. So what I'll do is I'll take down the notes for both. I'll get them both written up. I'll take the payment for both, and then I'll just run the advertisement after on the 24th. How's that? I'll make myself yeah, a note so it goes out then. Um, how much is it for right. both of those? $80 total. Oh, oh perfect. Runs it cheaper. It should be... Uh, okay. Right. $50 each. Um, so the advertisements for the Artist Guild, which is in the Fontana Magic Lantern Theatre in St. Denis, um, which is the motion picture theatre, um, just by the Telegram office. You can talk slowly, and I'm just going to take notes on this. So if I don't respond to you, I'm just writing this down. But you know, no you worries. Can just continue to let me know what the, what the details are, okay? All right, so okay. Fontana Magic Lantern Theater by the Telegram office. Okay. And it is a, um, it's an event for artists of all kinds, whether that's uh, singers, musicians, writers, uh, actors, painters, um, pretty much any art forms to come together and showcase their works. Um, this event uh, that's being advertised is a showcase, uh, the artist showcase. Um, which is where the public are invited to spectate. Um, it's going to be a $10 fee for spectators and, of course, free for artists. 
and um, the artists do also get paid um, at the event. Um, but that's normally something I go over with them after the event, just just because some people, you know, some people don't want the money, some sure. people want it to go back, you know, that kind of thing. I won't, yeah, I won't even mention that in the advertisement. You can correspond with the artist directly as far as that's concerned, I think. Right. And, um, yeah, so the showcase is happening on the 23rd at 6 o'clock New York time, um, which I know is running the same time as the Ranger run, which I wasn't aware of. Um, Point to her. Uh, yeah. My concern, too, Saturday, is that it's at Saturday. the same time as the Melee market, I think. Oh, they told me that was at 7. Is it at 7? Okay, you think it won't last any longer than that? Yeah, it should be around an hour. Um, and in St. Okay. Denis, we, right. we have an agreement with the businesses where... We kind of funnel people from one event to the next. So say if the casino event was happening, we funnel them straight there. Um, so okay. we'll be doing that All with right. the melee market. Perfection. Beautiful. But yeah, um, people can expect to have some singers there. Um, I believe I should hopefully be getting Dolly and Betty there. Um, Klaus on the piano, definitely. Um, Elliot Teller, the poet, is going to be there. So we, we have a wide variety of arts, which I'm, I'm very excited for. And uh, yeah, I just want to get the word out really so that I can get some more talent in there because we have a lot of spectators, but not so much talent for the event. Um, I'd like to get okay some more people involved. I'll include your telegram so that people can contact you and I'll make Ooh, sure yes, that please. I put in an actual request for talent. Yep. But yeah, so the 23rd is going to be the showcase and then... Um, I'm looking for basically a general really funny advertisement if Robert to say that wrote like a short story and then showcase that, but um, I'm like, Saturday, what the fuck would he write about? Something stupid. And um, like a also a mention Mary of Sue other events that are happening. Like so every Wednesday we do as a cool workshops cowboy. at four o'clock <laughs> and eight o'clock Eastern, um, which are artists only, and it's a chance to um, uh, give feedback on existing works that people are working on, like projects, um, work on collaborations, talk about events that may need uh, entertainment for. Um, and it's just a chance for the artists to have more of an intimate gathering where they can talk um, together as lovers of the arts. All right, so you want this general ad. You mentioned a specific something about Saturday at 6 p.m. What was that a part about? I, I, I glossed over on that, but I got the, the dates for the, uh, the war workshop time. What's the um, Saturday so the, season? You know what? Maybe, maybe so I those will do are that. every oh two goodness. weeks, and those are the showcases. So I'm trying to make the 23rd more of a bigger one. Oh, and then, okay. Yeah, they happen every two weeks after that. All right. So uh, what we'll do? I'll probably just have you telegram me every time that you have that happen. I tell you what, if you want to pay for the advertisements to go out in advance for a certain amount of, of weeks or months, you can do that, and then we'll make sure that they go out at that time. Okay, um, yeah, what I'm thinking is to have, obviously, the 23rd one as soon as possible, and then... Oh, that um, be immediately, yes, I'll do that today. And then the, um, the general advertisement can go out probably, um, the Monday after. Right, the 24th, right? Or directly uh, after 25th, the, uh... 25th, I think. The 25th? Okay. So artists only workshop to give feedback and share notes, and that's a uh, that's basically the information that you have in the poster, right? Yeah, and then um, I don't know if, if if there would be space to put this anywhere, but there are going to be like um, unique events coming up as well. Like we're going to be planning a fashion show, we're going to be planning a, a talent show, that kind of thing. Okay, when you have uh, one of those ready to go, let me know, and we'll get an advertisement written for. Amazing, thank you so much. Um, let me give My you the pleasure. eighty now. And how long do these advertisements run for? Um, is it 40 per week or? So they fall off eventually after a certain time, but it's based on how much other news and other things are going out. Typically speaking, you can expect to see an ad in the paper probably for a week to two weeks at a time. Okay, uh, amazing. Two weeks during slower times or a week for, uh, for faster times. Um, but we, if you, we do do arrangements for like um, static ads that will go out, you know, every month. But oh, I'm getting nervous about how many of those we're starting to get. So I'm not sure how we're going to be handling that in the future. But if you want to pay in advance for any kind of specific run of a certain amount, you can always do that. And then I'll keep track of that for you. I already do one for Garrett's Gunnery. 
So I'd keep track of that for you. Make sure that your advertisement that you're running goes out on a specific day. And then you can pay, you know, six months, you know, six months right away. And then always be sure that's going to go out every month for you um, without any trouble at all. And okay, I only amazing. do that whole pay in advance thing because it's much easier to do that rather than trying to chase people down for money. If you could wire transfer me, I'd do that. But you can't. So that's, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. <gasps> Amazing. Um, yeah, I think what I might do is have the general one running for a week, see um, if it helps with traction, and then um, as we get um, individual events going, I might just contact you and have a, a one-time event uh, running on the newspaper. Sure. All right, sounds good. And if I don't get the, if you're getting ready to set up the uh, the artist guild, um, the showcase rather, if you're getting ready to do the, the showcase, and you don't see an ad pop up, let me know. All right, when you're ready to run that, you let me know. Okay, we'll get it sorted out. Perfect. So Thank not you this so one, much. but the next one. You're welcome. My pleasure. And is there anything I can help you with, uh, Mr. Fisher? Yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I've I've heard that there's nothing specific or anything, but I've heard that there's something developing within Sandini of a. Uh, um, I, I mean, I heard the term gang war, but I don't know how true that might be. But I've heard a lot of folk in Sandini are kind of picking fights with folk that may, you know, not hang around Sandini. So I'm just trying to, you know, corroborate that and see what's going on with that. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think because, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I know things about what's going on, but I don't know if it's necessarily my place to say. Mm -hmm. Um, what I will say is there is definitely a threat from outside of Saint Denis, um, which is targeting specific groups in Saint Denis. Um, I will emphasize that we do not have any sort of alliance, um, in St. Denis to where, um, I mean, I'm a representative of Sam's Club. We do not have any alliances. We don't fight other people's fights. And I can tell you that beyond the threat of the cannibals, Sam's Club is not currently partaking in any conflicts. Hmm. Okay. So you're just kind of operating independently and just handling things uh is there anything yeah. more i mean I, I i'm i'm not gonna publish names or anything like that i'm just kind of more curious to see what sort of safety threat there may be for you know civilians who are folk who may not be involved but is there anything you more you can tell me about oh, that i need to threat? think i'm so sorry yeah Give no worries two minutes oh that's all right i can compose my notes i totally forgot to mention in the meeting the whole mission statement ah Oh Abby. yeah, shit. Uh, I'm sure Coin is still around. He probably is. It's fine. I'll deal with it correspondingly. I was gonna ask everybody for some input though. Oh yeah. Um, well, I mean, there's some of them are gonna be it's working fine. on that advertisement. So. Oh, that's true. They might also be over there. What was the paper drama? Was there was there supposed to be more happening with that meeting, or I thought there would be some like shifts and everything. Oh no, I think I think. I think you heard it all. The paper drama was all about the obituaries. People were oh, okay. the obituaries. Yeah, all right. That makes right. sense. Mm hmm I'm Trying to think. Any, any, were... <laughs> any other great... What? You were thinking that there was, like, some coup going on with yeah. the paper and, you know, a, a, a violent uprising. Of, you thought I wasn't going to take over editor forcibly or something like that? Yeah, I thought you were going to take Corner's desk and, and push it over and burn it and de <laughs> declare this uh, Miss Jones Daily. <laughs> Abigail Tribune. Daily. <laughs> That's right. I really did probably write seven or eight things this week. It was ridiculous. I had a, I was a little inspired her talking about this artist's uh, gallery. I, I don't think I could do it in such short time, but maybe I could write, you know, a, my I experience. I would like to read. Yeah, you know, I, I like the, the thought of including writers, so... I thought I could write a short story about my experience <laughs> robbing banks. That would and, be brilliant, robbing banks. And stopping oh, these foul goodness. criminals. Of course, I'll be the strongest in the story, you know. Sorry about that. Of course. That's all right. Um, no trouble. <laughs> so what I was going to say about the civilian safety is that um, everyone who lives in St. Denis works in St. Denis. Um, we work very hard to make sure that any threats that come to the city or the residents of the city do not affect the civilians and uh, businessmen coming in. 
Okay. Um, and it's something that is discussed and something that um, anyone who would be in a conflict works very hard to keep, um, what's the word, sort of centralized to them, uh, to where it's not going to be pulling other people in. So I would say as a civilian, you are not going to have to worry about anything in St. Denis. Um, aside from, you know, the usual things, you know, getting robbed, that sort of thing. You know, um, the only people that can really stop that would be the law. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it sounds like the, you know, civilians would have nothing to fear from you or your group, which is wonderful. I, I really applaud that. Um, and I would say the same with other groups. Um, even the threat? Yeah, I would say that even with this threat, um, you know, if it does affect someone in St. Denis, um, it's not going to be putting civilians at risk. Um, and, you know, even if people are in conflict, they still have um, decency and respect to not bring in people who are not involved in that conflict. And they will do everything in their power to make sure that innocent people, uh, properties, etc., are not going to be affected by that conflict that's going on. Oh, so that rules out Dr. Creed. Yeah, I would say in the case of Dr. Creed, I mean, you never know. At, at, this, at this point, it's a, it's a crossing word issue, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, that's a um, whole other there's, thing. Yeah, there's, there's not really much to be done about Creed, um, aside from just locking him up again. Um, but that's the, that's the one time that sort of everyone sticks up for each other and tries to defend each other and keep each other safe. Um, yeah, it sounded like y'all were abandoned together to, you know, prevent the cannibals, the cannibal incursion. I was doing some research myself in the bayou trying to learn about Breed and other groups out there uh, that I heard about, but didn't seem to really turn up too much. Um, but, I mean, would you say other groups within the city? Uh, I believe the other group, what, being the Dicenzos, are they kind of on board with, the, what, you know, yourself? Um... In, in what way are you... Uh, and, like, uh, you know, we protect the civilians, we're focused on this threat kind of coming into the city. Um, well, I can't speak for the Jichenzos, but I would say in my experience of knowing them, they pride themselves on the safety of St. Denis, and they pride themselves on being able to keep the city safe as best they can. Um, they really have um, a lot of love for the city, a lot of love for the business coming into the city, you know, new people coming in and starting up, you know, the restaurants, the uh, the movie showings, all of these things, and, um, you know, they don't want to see something happen to St. Denis as much as anyone else does. Okay, that's good to know, good to know. Uh, I feel like that's all I really need to know, but I think my, uh, my teacher here, Miss Jones, may, do you have any questions for her that may, maybe I missed? No, I don't think so. Perfect. All right, we're good to go. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Would you? I mean, uh, would you? Do you have Mister Fisher's telegram in case you think of anything else there, Cor? Um, I can definitely take it down. Yep. Whenever you're ready, I can Let give me... that to you. Go ahead. Alrighty, that is C Z zero four one. That's Curious Zebra. <laughs> you are a Curious Zebra. I would say so, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I wish I could give you more information. Um, a lot of it is, is private information that I unfortunately um, can't give out just for the sake of, you know, decency and respect. So Absolutely. But I would say if Not you hang around in, uh, in Valentine long enough, you will probably hear something. Um, but to be honest, things are quite quiet in St. Denis at the moment. Um, there were some things going on before, but things have kind of died down. Things have been resolved. Um, but, uh, you know, I would say that there is something brewing. There is a storm brewing. Maybe in the whole crossing, not even St. Denis. Um, really? It just, it feels like something's coming, you know? I can't tell you what. I wish I knew what, but it's, uh, it's concerning. You know, you can only have peace for a certain amount of time before something breaks that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm sure that uh, if you stay in the rumor mill, which is Valentine, um, 
or hang around in St. Denis uh, long enough, you'll probably hear some things that might help you. Hmm. Good to know, good to know. Luckily, I do hang around uh, Valentine, so uh, I might uh, have to spend a little bit more time in St. Denis. Well, it's been a pleasure. I am uh, going to catch up on my fishing, which was uh, rudely interrupted by those gunshots, so... <laughs> Best of luck. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Miss Mary. Thank you for everything. Of course, of course. And thank you for uh, for taking the time for the advertisements and, of course, um, speaking to me about the obituaries. I didn't mean to come across as rude. It just, uh, you know, it was a tough no, situation that's all right. for a lot of people. I think you were the third telegram series that we had gotten about it that day. So that was uh, oh, that was part of the whole issue. And then, uh, well, and then well, you mentioned Sam Bass coming into the picture, and I still don't know how he's connected, but it became to a point where, all right, we're going to, I don't know. We're going to narrow this down to next of kin only. I've got some hunches. It needs to be a conversation between the entire city of St. Denis and, and the newspaper. So uh, I hope I was responsive as polite as I possibly could be, but we were no, it's putting fine. out a lot of fires that day. No, I, I totally understand. And um, yeah, I think the only issue was that I didn't think that she had any next of kin because the medical board and how they were doing things, um, something about not, not taking them down or something. Well, Which hopefully so it's been resolved. I know, I know <laughs> that if anybody's next of kin was put in before May 15th, it has to be resubmitted. We are not privy and not able to get any information about who next of kin is for anyone. Um, what we're working on is in the future, if, uh, we're, if we have an obituary that's submitted, what we can do is go to the medical board and say, is this person, do we have a death certificate? Are they dead? And they can tell us yes or no. Um, and that's all they can say. We're trying to do the same thing with next of kids. So if we have an obituary submitted, I can take it to the, the uh, health board and say, is this person next of kin for that person? They can say yes or no. So hopefully with those two concessions, we can continue doing obituaries in the future uh, because well, this cool is the second time in less than two weeks or no, maybe a month, Supposed maybe a month total like that, that um, somebody has kind of used uh, or misused rather the uh, um, submission of an obituary to their own ends. And uh, we won't be standing yeah. for that. Well, thank you for, for all the hard work that you guys put in. Um, it's, it definitely doesn't go unnoticed, that's for sure. Thank you for that. That's lovely to hear. I really appreciate it. Keep buying papers. Tell people to read them. Absolutely. I will. I will. We always buy the paper. <laughs> you guys have a good, good night, okay? You too. You too. Take care, Cor. All right. Back to the office. I've got some theories. She kept saying Valentine. She did, but she said the rumor mill is Valentine, but you're there all the time, so you should hear things, I guess, there, she thinks. Well, maybe it's a group that bases themselves out of Valentine. That is possible. Hello, ladies. Hattie. I see her hanging there all the time with another fellow I know who I think is involved with that Sam's Club. The plot thickens. It does. Oh? You're on it. I know you are. I, I like the dangerous leads, to be honest with you. Maybe maybe that's... Maybe uh, I'm getting uh, hoisted by my own petard here, but uh, I really like the thrill of it. <laughs> We've noticed. <laughs> the whole sneaking out of the telegram station while the bank robbery is going on. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wanted to hear... Hey, and that's how I learned it was Kettleman and they had a hostage and there was a man on a roof. Mm -hmm, that's true. Yep. Mm -hmm. You did. You got the story, that's for sure. Just don't get hurt, please. Yeah, no, I don't I don't really want to get uh, taken hostage or anything like that. These meal names are hilarious. Hit me. Okay, so the Miss Lydia Spade and uh, Mr. Romeo, their new restaurant has meals such as the Baguette About It and the Codfather. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> That's very clever. I like it. It does sound pretty good. I mean, I heard it the first time, but now I'm reading it again. It just makes me laugh. 
Oh, I forgot to tell him I can't have fish. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's okay. Just, uh, you can, I, do you have their telegram? I gave them mine. Um, I can give you theirs in just a second. Yeah. I'm doing this mock writing, which <laughs> I don't know oh, how to right. do. I mean, I'm writing it, but it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> Still stoked about that. Suppose you should go incessantly question the people of the crossing. <gasps> okay. All right. Thank you for being here, Mr. Fisher. Absolutely. I'll be around if you all need anything. Okay. All right. I think we're going to stop at Valentine care, first. I feel like that would be the easiest one. Mm. Sure. Be safe. You as well. Oh, are we all right? <laughs> we are all working, it seems, yes. Oh, sorry, sir. It seems, yes. Rubbing your face on my microphone, bruh. Horses.
The rock. The rock. <laughs> Washed. <laughs> Jesus. Now.
Yes, we got for our uh, auto horse. Feed family well. Good kill. Mm, good battle. Mm, name Theo, you. Robert. Robert. Where from, Robert? Why is water dark? Oh. Eel from mountain. Mountain. Mm. Food. Need food. <laughs> yes. Animals in mountain try to hurt Dio. Dio 
Come here. Woman, punch horse. Then punch Theo. No reason. That man dead. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where wolves? Theo, go that way. Mm. Yes, Robert. Good man. Let's check the end. <laughs> oh, come on, what's the fun in there? Oh, we had a pair of nines and tens. I, all I had was tens with a queen kicker. Hmm. the buy-in for this hundred dollars There, no, I don't look like a fucking bum. And he's back. Well, welcome back there, sir. <sighs> I'll do it just to see what it is. Thank you very much. Two pair, queen sixes. Okay. You're fine. Guess you're in the hot seat today, Marcus, so. 
Yeah, just a wee little bit. You know, my first 100 buy in, I let it go, and then uh, I'm on the second, so 200 in, and now I'm uh, a good chunk up. Not a bad day. I guess not. Look at all them chips. Kind of needed. I did go out and buy me a big horse today, too. Oh, congratulations. What you get? Well, thank you. I think it's a uh, Breton was what it was. Mm. Has been treating you. Oh, it's been treating me very well. It's a beautiful horse, mostly black with a little bit of a red accent in its fur. I'll raise it five. Well, I'll call that ten. Always up to something, Julian. Gotta do something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I need five more of them loose cards to make a deck. Uh, do you? Yep. I got you. Yeah, I got I'll one, I think. I'll buy them. I don't really care. I'm How much are you for them? I do, uh, if you got, like, Ten or lower, um, I pay for a dollar. Anything over that, I pay a dollar fifty. Sure thing. You can have it. Put another five on it. I'll call that five. Hmm. Whoever's got the ten is sitting real happy right now. Twenty dollar. Oh, well, I'll raise it up to fifty. Oh, no, one of y'all got a ten, I hope. King or queen will do too. King and queen, I should say. I'll call it. I'll call it. It's only a hundred dollar game anyway. Yeah, three, three of a kind. God damn. Oh. You would. <laughs> oh, you rascal. No, I had, uh, I had an ace too. Well, I had a six, so she would have beat me by one call. Yep. Nothing, but if you've uh, cracked open the paper lately, you'll notice I, I'm a, I'm a published writer now, writing about poker, no less. Well, well, well congratulations. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I would have noticed if I had the ability to read a newspaper. You don't know how to read, sir? No, sir. I think Mrs. Goose does a Sunday school where she helps you. Well, y'all say my seat if I uh, go use the little girl's room. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. I'll be I'm right all there. in any, anyway. It's only $16. You should be able just to sit out around or two. Oh, can I do that? Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I just need to think for a minute. That's what I usually hey, do. You're right. Welcome. You know what? Yeah. I'll call that fourteen. See what we get. Why did I call that? This is uh, this is such a trash hand. Well, I mean, I just went all in because that's all I have. Oh my well, god. Well, I mean, a trash hand can sometimes hit a good flop. It didn't hit anything. <laughs> Ooh. This is just my test uh, on it. You know. I don't normally play with all these folks here. Oh, do a gentleman's check. The new crowd, I appreciate. Well, we want new people playing poker. Yeah, we can check it around. Yeah, I play poker a lot up here. I I do like it. I'll I'll play occasionally Saint Denis, but nothing like the that high roll table, you know. Oh God, it was a thousand dollar buy-in. Yeah, no thanks. Well, oh. shoot! If I keep hitting the table today, I'll be able to buy into that. Good. That happens on Fridays. Yeah. Like 9 Eastern. How much is his buy-in for that? 1,000. You got mm. the $1,000 game, you got a $200 game, and then you got a $400 game all on Friday. Yeah, 400 is usually in Blackwater. And then the 200 here. 
You know what? I'll call that five. See what okay. we get. Go ahead. Little side, little side pot with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's bump Somebody's, him up just uh, a little bit. Ooh, he's got clubs. Maybe. Maybe I have a strike. Has he been bluffing all night? I'm gonna let you know if you got um, if you got straight, mm -hmm. you gonna lose. Maybe. You know okay. what? Let's pay to find out. Okay. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> you know okay. what? I definitely don't have it. So, unless you got an ace. That's it. It's the only thing. I got king. Oh, he had oh, the I ace. Oh, oh, he had the ace. Oh wow. <laughs> Of course. Of course. We'll figure. We well played there, Gabriel. Well enough. played. Thank you. Oh, walk, and, walk shame for me and you, uh, Straps Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that don't matter to me. That will practice for me. I'll take his seat. Well, welcome back to the table there, Miss Eleanor. Thank you. I'll just uh, be a minute. Have to mm, think about some strategies. Here. Take your time. Count your chips. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're still here. I mean, hey, what the I fuck? I may have won a little bit. Four, five, six. Oh, oh my God! It. Yeah, we're we're yeah, chasing nice that straight. Pile. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's gonna be well, a fucking good bully. Thing the boy. Nice guy, bully. Maybe. I'm gonna race five. Yeah, I'm gonna Oh, don't, the shit out of me. don't count any numbers yet. I I will return. I mean, you're welcome to come back if you want to. I can't right now. Why not? Because, because a friend of mine just got attacked by a, a wolf. Oh, Wait, sorry. what? Ten wolves. Ten wolves. Yep, ten of them. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, there Wait, were some wolves who? outside of Blackwater. I just shot one. Is true, right? Yes, sir. I believe we bumped into each other already. I think so. Actually, I think we bumped into each other days ago. <laughs> That's not who I thought yeah. it was. That looks exactly what like someone name? else. Yeah. It looks exactly Ezekiel. like that. Yes, sir. I remember you. Mm -hmm. How He's you been? Friend, dude. I've been all right. Good to hear, buddy. No, I took my hand in poker today. I was doing good, and then I, I just Lips. started slipping. That generally happens. Yeah, that happens from time to time. I mean, shoot. Sure. I'm not a poker player. I wasn't I never, a poker player either. I was blackjack. Yeah, but no, I, I never played cards growing up. Oh. Even being mm, an adult, too much. I didn't do that. I guarantee you if they put a space table over here, <laughs> beat somebody yeah. else on it. Well, I, I almost guarantee if I get to a little eat bit shit, of time man, the black, table, I got your number. I'll learn it like no one's business. I do. But they'll take time. And money, of course. Oh, man. You got a lot of chips there. You could throw any number in. I did a lot of washing, see what uh, hands beat what, and then I sat down, lost a lot of money, and then I came back. Nice casual know? check, all right, that's fine with me. Check. It go with the saying, you gotta, you gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> hey. Got nothing. The whistle is kind of uh, injured right now. What happened to whistle? Boom. I got attacked Wild by life. 25 wolves. One, yeah, one, 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 one. Listen, it's, I listen, killed it's Holy hell, one. it just multiply. Yep. Wait, weren't you guys riding out to go find Miss Maria? No, sir. Uh, well, we, we, I'll just, I just sent her a telegram and I sent one of her friends a telegram to make sure she. Who the fuck are all these people? I don't know them at all. Oh, all right. Riding across the state no, ain't he... really efficient. We don't got nowhere to look. No, uh, Wesley just had no more play money. So he was going to go mining, and I said I'd go with him, Walk just on. so he's not alone and doesn't have to face any kind of obstacles around by himself. I don't think that's correct. Okay. But he surely did, because he's a dummy. Mm, oh, I forgot a pickaxe. Oh, I had to go back to Strawberry and get a pickaxe, so I went by myself, and then all of a sudden, lo and behold, 85 50, wolves 55, <laughs> no, not that many, Jesus, 95 wolves. We're right there, growling at me. I killed every one of them except for one. What? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That doesn't wow. sound like an one exaggeration person. at all. 
yeah. That almost yeah. reminds me of the time that I was attacked by 185 wolves. Ah. Good what the hell going on with you? How the hell are you still kicking? I took him down with a Maxim gun. Okay. I mean, the time uh, I took on 200 bears. <laughs> Two bears. All right. You all are a bunch of nut jobs. I swear to God. <laughs> I want to bears with 500 <laughs> Only on the weekends. Well, it is Saturday, so I well, guess that, the same that does uh, equate. Oh, yeah. The same Was time. that earlier today, or are you doing it tomorrow? What are we talking about? Your bear fight. Oh, no, no. That, that, that's in the past. Oh, 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 someone else do a bear fight. Not me. Let's I see. go there and bro, Just me and a knife. Wait, I ain't you, fighting no bear. If you want to fight a bear, go to tall trees. There's plenty of them there. Oh, go, on, bear. go to Big Valley. There's one there every goddamn time. That's a friendly way of telling a bear. I, I don't think superior. you've got the three. Like I said, booping a bear. That's way what do I have to have the three? One. You, you, you boop a bear? Did you say that? Yes, sir. Yeah, are you poking in the nose? Or? Well, he comes up and you just... You make yourself look big. Go. Uh, uh, just make yourself look big. As long as you're friendly and you don't have guns out, he'll just hit that roll. I'm telling you, you're going to shoot the bridges. Time? I promise you. <laughs> no, you ask. Can I, can I see it? I'd like to see this in person. Sure. I boot bears with my gun. Okay. I can show you. Probably it. got it. Watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Let's just I finish this game. Oh. Uh -huh. Bad booping. Oh, shit. But you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Sorry, so what was your name? Oh, uh, name's John. John Abbeway. John, good to meet you. Name's Drew. Drew Peters. Nice to meet you, Drew. Name's Wesley. Wesley Long. Who? What? Asked. Who asked? Uh, this guy. Oh my god. Who asked me? <laughs> oh god damn. This fucking rascal. Lord have mercy. Hey, what are you doing? I'll show you who asked in the street, you and me. Let's go. Oh, oh you already injured. Let's go to go to the oh, Lord. Go to the pig what pen out back. Look at you. That way the law won't there. bother you. No, screw you that. Have fine, this one. I can if no one if no one working right now, just do it in the middle of the flow. Yeah, you could do it in the middle of the floor. I, yeah, I want to watch it too. Good good idea, Julian. Good man. Well, I can show you how to boot a bear, but I'm telling you. I, I got a doctor bag on my horse. I'll I'm help you out. It's not easy. And I got a bag in my coat. Fucking bridges, I promise you. Come on, bolt action and do it plenty. It's some like have to have one. If your bolt action's out, you will not boop a bear. I can boop it. Okay. You can boop it with your bullets. Goodness. No, that's not how it works. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I get it now. You won't take your pistol out and shoot Okay, once. I know where the grizzly bear. We can go over there. I want to watch you boop a bear. Sure, I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. But there are many rules to follow. Because mm. we all are way too close. We're all fucked. It can't be one of them little no, black I mean, bears. I'm gonna have my ball action, so it don't matter. It has to be one you of them know, mama bears. You can. You can have that. Yeah. We just we have to make sure we're far enough away. Well. Yeah. I'll show you. It's oh. hard to explain it, but I will show you. What are you doing, Robert? I'll be right back. Whatever the fuck I want. Sure. Okay. Hey, Wesley. Go clean that up in the bathhouse. Your wound, go clean it up. Stop limping around. Yeah. When you want to action? Oh. Come on, what is this? Come on. What do you got? Jig what? What you got? How long you think? Just. I'm just in him. Game's awful. Uh, well, we can go back now if you're so. Oh, no, no. To another battle. Take, take well, back you your bet. You're the one who wanted to go out and look at me. I mean, you know what I'm yeah, confident. What they say a river will be dry. God damn you, Robert! <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake! Ooh. We gambling or what? We you are gambling. Up on a goddamn big stack. Yeah, you, we're you to all gamble, trying to asshole. gang up on a small oh, stack. Goddamn. You're gonna have that goddamn. Why are we talking about my sack? Hey, we stupid. got this. Let's go. 
Mom, River. God damn it. Oh, oh thank God. See? That was stupid. Ooh. That was the dumbest thing. <laughs> I just needed a you want that with a pair of pants? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Very well done. I have I money. Like Unless someone, no. if someone else wants to step into this game, feel free. Otherwise, I'm going to get more money. I'm stepping in now. I'm getting my goddamn money back. Who told y'all? Who claimed y'all out? It's me, man. Oh, fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, that fucking asshole. What is this music? This is giving me anxiety. What the fuck is this? Hey, do you, do you uh, read some history books? You, you'll know. It's all your fault, Robert. God damn, Mister, you look like shit. Me? Level five. Yes. You talking to me? This is called a burn victim. You want to keep talking about it? No, I, I, can I answer something though? Don't, you don't, mind? Don't, you know, I'll it's, call it, for don't five. Look, and whatever. You don't mind if I ask? Ask what? No, I'm just. Oh shit, that was you. Sorry. Why not ten? I'm just saying this man in front of me. God mm. damn. That's why I don't wear a hat. What are you sitting on there, Miss Eleanor? I didn't think about. Oh. It. <laughs> Talk Wouldn't about the you like to know? This ain't a forest. <laughs> got you on that one, buddy. Well, usually a hand. I think it's nothing. I'm gonna call it out, but God damn. Hey, Cliff, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the. This docks. has nothing to do with the sun. This has to oh, burn hey. in my face. Oh boy. What happened? Huh? You about that? Someone yeah. tied me up, put me yeah, next okay. to TNT, and blew it up. Oh Jesus Christ! Now why'd you go and do that, Mister? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's too much. I'll let it go. Insult you, but fucking hell. That turn was not kind to of me. Yep. You no, know, it's life. Man, yeah, sure that's a little suspicious. Tell what happened. But then I'll call it. Uh, maybe go down to New Orleans and get some of that. Uh, what's that plant called? This like very pointy and green, and it's not a cacti. It's um, it starts with an A, I think. Uh, uh, agave. Agave. No, agave. Yes. Yes. Put hey, uh, some of the shit on that. Hey Drew. You know yeah. what I think? Make I know what I think make him feel better. What's that? Cliff Spliff. Well, I don't got Cliff's one of those on me. Oh, but, uh, man. I got some I don't I think that's weed and tobacco makes a burn right. wound. Yes, it I is. Really one, don't of think it famous, one of my famous, one uh, of my famous, Spliffs, yeah. Spliffs, yeah. Spliffs well, you might feel better. Who knows? Well, you know what make me feel better? If I can interest anybody. Can't believe I'm doing this with Ace no. King. All right. I was gonna say I have a Bastille deck for sale if anybody interested. How much? Well, shoot. Mm, I'm open for bargains, but I'm gonna start it at, uh... And you can bargain a lot with me, I'm open. But I'm gonna start at 500. I'm not too sure what they actually go for in the mug right now, so... I'll hold off for now. Alright. How the cards been treating you guys? I was gone for a little bit. All they've right. Been treating me very well. Yep. Oh, they've been treating you well since you've been fucking taking all my goddamn money. I don't think it was Agave either. Oh come on! Don't be salty about it. Just oh, a friend I'm, of the game. I'm not salty. It's like um. It's called Aloe Juice. Aloe. That's it. Yes, that's the one. I don't know if Vera. Sounds like a freaking hooker from <laughs> Saint Denis. <laughs> I'm distracted by this goddamn assholes. dumbass conversation that went by me. Isn't it, isn't it, uh, aren't those from cacti you get them or something like that? No, it's a plant, they plant that's plant? very pointy, but it's... No, it looked like know. a cacti, kind of. No, it don't. The hell's wrong? I, I don't know. There are a lot of things are wrong. I mean, look at my face. Just for fuck's sake. Well, I mean, that was your fucking fault, wasn't it? Someone I'm tied saying, me up. all things that you could alleviate that shit. Mm my own fault that someone tied me up and put me next to TNT. I said it wasn't your oh, own fault. 
I thought you said it was. Can you guys take this away from the goddamn table, please? No, because I'm done talking. I don't see you with this. Somebody's got to be sitting on a floor. Somebody's got to have a goddamn hug. Right that day. Anybody? Really? No one? Any anybody? No, sir. I'll be back. There it is. <laughs> what the now actual we all gotta hell? Tell you guys what I got. He's hot flush. <laughs> Well, I guess we all got a flush. You know what ten, happens here, I'll right? Put $10 we, all on it. The, we all share the pot no matter what. You guys know that, right? I don't know why you got that king. I guess somebody could have a higher flush. I'm going to let that go. Yeah, I'm not. Somebody's got to have a heart in their hand to play it. There's got to be. No, I don't think so. I mean, I'll call it. Why not? You see what happened. Yeah. I mean, it's your deck, Mister. Did you cut it? Did Did you just open that? You, you gotta guys, shuffle that deck. You, you gotta guys know we all split the pot. It don't matter. Happens, we right? all split it, so it don't matter. Oh my god! I don't god know why damn. you guys folded. Oh, I didn't realize that. You probably thought they were gonna get milked. That's what I thought, honestly. I just yeah. put a ten dollar in to see what we're gonna go. <laughs> It's one of those you, not many people know about it because it never happens. Yeah, that seems a bit uh, statistically improbable. What? Very unlikely. Oh. Yeah, you gotta dump it down with some of the people here. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not one of them folks that understand a lot of educated things. Uh, who's got the jack? You know what? I'll call that. All right, I'll call it. Good. It was. Let's make it a family pot. Everyone call it. It was a low enough call that I I wanted more people to get into it. Then I'm gonna raise it the next time. Family pot. I'm gonna Why go ahead and ask you if you sure you want to do that. Yeah, yep. there it is. Oh, you don't want to do the family pot, Mister? No. I ain't got no reason to be in this house. Oh, yeah, Fifteen rays? Fifteen enough to make you think about it, apparently. Mm -hmm. Hey, John, you know what would be nice right now? You know what? I'll re-raise that. Hmm? One of Mr. Uh, one of Mr. Billy's songs. Okay. All right, Robert, you better have something. I can't play instruments. No, I'm saying if Mr. Billy was here playing us a song, you know. Oh, God yeah. dang, he got the money to go ahead and test you about it. Before everybody we're looking for. Welcome back, Wesley. Oh, thanks. Where'd, uh... You know what, you wanted 15 show. last time? I'll Not go 15 this time. Blue. That mean he ain't got it. Goddamn. That mean he ain't got it, Robert. <laughs> All in. What the oh, fuck? Damn, but damn, she might have it. No if, way. If you ain't got it. I ain't Silent seen that come deadly. from you, Miss Eleanor. I'll tell you what. I'll call it. I forgot Ooh. she was even in there. Let me the scariest one. Damn. God damn, she had a done. full house on you. Yeah, damn, she laid that with. I don't know. I, I called you. Yeah, full force. Good job. Well done. Oh, goddamn day. Thank you. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Tell you what, Miss Elno, you were fine. You were fine poker player. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Well, I'm pretty new, to be honest. Blackjack's more my flavor. Oh, that's the tale right there. Oh, I'm new. I never played poker before. <laughs> that reminds me of Dan and Blackwater. Well, I, never, I didn't say I never played before. I just don't have as much experience in it. Oh, all right, all right. That's why I'm with you fellas tonight. That reminds me of Georgia. Practice. I am from Georgia. How'd you know? 
No, yeah, there's a lady. There's a lady that normally come out here. Her name is Georgia, and she play. And then she always oh, said that she don't know how to Georgia, play the game. Hey, what part of Georgia are you from, then, Miss Eleanor? Well, I moved around a bit. Mostly from Atlanta, though. Ooh. Huh. All right. Understandable. That's a good one. I grew up outside of Atlanta myself. Well, I didn't like it much. That's why I'm here. Ah, uh, you and me both. Oh. Thirteen dollar too much for you, mister. Oh, he's calling it. Now, what about you, Miss Eleanor? I think I'll fall down. Oh, and here it is again, me and you. <laughs> well, I don't. And what I'll gentlemen's check this, see what this river turns out to be. Yeah, hey, let's let's see it. Let's see it. Oh boy. Okay, who got a flush? Oh boy. Cause I can tell you right now. Whatever you put down, I'm calling. Oh, okay. Well, you oh, he'll, he'll about to put it on. Hmm. I told what you, you I'm coming back to thing? get my money. Who knows? Find out. I mean, he could have four, five. He could have diamonds. I think he's got the flush. I'm gonna let him have it. What'd you have there, Cliff? I ain't got shit but a pair. Huh. Uh, you had a higher pair than me, so. Got that eight. Eight. Oh, we gentlemen's chilling it all around the table. Most one of these, we know you got an eight okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh god. I'll let that one go. Yeah, I think I will too. Yeah, it's probably the best, uh, best thing you can do in the money. Yeah, you know what? You go ahead and have that. All right, mister. Okay. What'd you have? You had the king of the eight. Tell me. You gotta pay for it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll see how you play. I mean, I'll probably give everybody one, but not that one. Sorry. Oh, that's how I, you know, I ain't. Mm. I normally I ain't do it all the time and everything, and every every time I do it, I end up getting uh, money taken from me, so. Well, let's raise it up a little bit. See if we would uh, see if we can have a spicy hand. Okay. All right. Uh, the best you can do. Oh, I mean, I'll call it one out. All right, sure, I'll call. Hmm. Uh, 
who's sitting on the king is the question of the day. Tell you what, it yes, sure it is. Ain't me. You know what? I'll call that 15 now. Ain't me either. Up to 50. Oh boy. What do you got there, huh? Seems like a king or wants you to think so, at least. You have to pay to find out? Oh boy. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, what'd you yeah. have over there? I'll tell you after the goddamn ham. <laughs> he had pocket clubs, I'll tell you. Hey, he had a pocket club. No. Hey, hey, what's going on? All right, Mr. Gabriel, how high do you want to go? Right. You know, okay. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and ask you politely. Are you sure you want to go that high? Every time he said that, I lost him. Like you don't got nothing. The dungeon. Come here, you bitch. Better be a hell of a pot, I feel. Think he about to double it. What the fuck? I have a feeling he might go all in. Sound like him. He might have the king. Who the hell is yelling? It sounds like someone's being hunted. Oh no. I'm all in. All right. Oh. I oh, don't. No. Is that Sebi over there? You better have it. Look like Sebi. Or you, or you gonna let him what? take all your money? No, I don't think that's Sebi. Sebi don't have a. Big you sure you wanna give me all that money? I hear you. Oh. Oh, oh, boy. oh, he had oh, no a damn oh. That's a big ass. I had a goddamn straight though, but he won that one. He would have beat yep, my straight. Well done. Well done. God wow. damn. Can't even be I mad at that one. He's on the table now. I'll tell you what. That one definitely hurt a little bit, but that was well played then, Mr. Gabriel. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, really good him. I will piss off that I threw a straightaway, and then I was happy again because he had a quad. So. <laughs> yeah. Out of all hands, though, for him to have four pair. Or a four of a kind. God damn. Yeah. This luck. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people like to say that this game all about skill. In my opinion, it's 90% luck and 10% skill. Yeah, when I'd I get... Say, I'd say 60-40. Uh, I would say more... Yeah. Yeah, I'd say about 60-40, because, I mean, you got to understand how to read opponents and stuff. Yeah, but, I mean, most of the game is luck about how much you, or what cards you get and, and what's coming matter, on the board. It don't board. matter what hand you is, man. You play have the shittiest hand, you would have no goddamn... You would have a 2-3, you know, somebody else could have a fucking... Some yeah, but that somebody else could also call everything until you come up to the yeah. high call. I'm about to say that works when you don't have beginners a calling station. 
I'll send it off. It's all about waiting what's on the table yeah. and you know, God says it's yep. empty with. has a grand oh. see you again this fucking guy is a grand it's like it's like a fucking banker or fed I'm not gonna risk it on them I would have beat it. I had a queen king. Is that a king now? No. Well, yeah, he had two pen in my... That's what I was saying. I was thinking about that queen a little bit much. Pre-flop, you guys can have that. Not that much. Yeah, I'm gonna get up and stretch my legs for a little bit. Okay. Forty. I'll go all in. Got act no more pressure. Why? Jesus. I appreciate that. Robert. What? You yeah. had my other goddamn twos. <laughs> <laughs> we both had pocket twos. <laughs> oh no. That is some stupid shit. This game's rigged. Sitting there waiting for the tools to come out, and you have both of them. God damn. And then that straight was almost there. We were one card off. Yeah, I was worried about that one. Yeah, I thought for sure someone had it straight. Look like it's me and you, Miss Eleanor. All right, let's go. 
Alright, let's do it. Check it back there, see what happens. Look at that turn there. Oh boy. That what you wanted? Go ahead and raise five. Raise it twelve. How about that, Miss Eleanor? Sounds good to me. Look at that river. Oh boy, is that oh, what you wanted? Who got the queen? Got the queen. Hey, are you? Oh, hey. Raise it ten. Hey, little ten never hurt nobody. Oh, the. Don't there worry. we go. I had a pair of tens. No. Who had a queen and folded it? Okay. I guess no one. Maybe they just embarrassed. Had a king. Oh. All right. He ain't coming back. I guess I might get in. I kind of wish. Hey, come on in, Joe. Come on. Uh, yeah. What, what's it at? A hundred? Oh, I mean, just about the yeah. yeah, everybody bought in one a hundred, from what I own, I assume. I mean, somebody I just, right, I just re bought in for 20, yeah, so. Yeah, but you're so all over the place, I expect it doesn't matter anymore. I re bought in with 200. Boy. You know what? I'll pay to see the goddamn river. Oh boy. Look at that. Yeah, what in the world? That's what I'm saying. No, I ain't got nothing. How hey, the world you, know you got a thousand dollars? We paid enough. You show us, show us what you got. Definitely paid enough. I ain't got nothing. shit. Oh. You ain't got nothing either. Oh. And that is the name Wait. of the game. Did he win all that? And he, he sure did. did. Yeah. Wouldn't much. I would have had you beat. He had a uh, Claude Kings, I believe. Oh, he had a pro play over here. Sometimes you just gotta risk it, you know? Yeah, sometimes you do. Sometimes walk out like that, don't it? I don't think I'm ever gonna do that again, cause I would pucker him. Everybody kept calling. But once everybody kept checking, I was like, okay. Playing the check game. Hey, you sound a lot like Emmett. That what everybody say. Everybody keep I, on saying that we like cousins or brothers or something like that. I thought I heard I'll that guy's voice. Well, uh, he, he sound a lot like him, don't he? Yeah. Right. 
I don't like know one who second. that is. Yeah, he's one of the better poker players in the class. But you can go to any of the tables right now, you probably find him. As soon as I came out here, everybody was saying, actually, I, it was Missy that went ahead and said that I sounded like him. He looked like him too, that scraggly beard there. Oh, he got a bigger beard than me. He ain't got long hair. Uh, he, he, he younger than me, huh? Well, she needs to get your plate like him. Up the pot. Shoot, yeah, I'm going to have to fold this one. Me. Go on. You had you. that 10, right? I had a king and a 10. I had oh, a full house. Yep, oh. yep. Glad I folded hey. that then. I'm gonna put some of this on the bank. I've never had this amount of money on me. <laughs> How you doing, know, Mister? Let's play some poker. Oh no. Nope. Uh, good uh, sorry to interrupt, but Cliff. What's going on? Have you seen uh Wesley? I uh, know I have not. I went to the fucking outhouse and he just fucking disappeared. That's not good. How does everybody disappear in that? I have no idea. I was gonna show him how to move my bear, but probably oh. fell asleep. Maybe yeah, fell in. Oh. Hey, did you check in? I, I, I was the one in the outhouse, and I did not oh. fall in. Oh. <laughs> maybe you fell I, asleep. I understand what you're saying, though. Oh, maybe. All right. Anyway, thank you. Hey, of course, so of course.
guy. What do you mean? Put me all in. I'm just a little fish. I'm a little fish in a big pond. Well, I mean, if you ain't got it, then why you win? You why you win? It? You know? Maybe I got it. Okay. Then why you complain? Because I'm dramatic. Yeah, sound about sound like it. This is gonna be my great, my great triumph, the great return to glory. Okay. I hope so. You know, you wouldn't have lost most of that money if you didn't keep on going and raising and everything when you ain't got them. I had something. Mm -hmm. Someone had something better. You can have that. Oh, come on. Nope. Scared. Nope. I just didn't have none. Has something. How much did he raise a buy? I ain't gonna put you all in. Right. I'm just seeing if it was the exact same as mine. Hey. The hell? You got a yeah. half flush. Game's awful. I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. If I have to do this, I'll do this. Okay. Uh, might as well check telegrams. My horse come to me, I didn't even call it.
Anyone else? Huh. Dope. What the fuck do I do now? Could go to San Dene. You ain't it, what they said. You ain't ready. Give me the boot. Tell me how that goes. What the hell? He's gonna give me the boot. Just wait. Are they gonna fight that bear? It sounds like it. Shake that bear. He said a bear won't attack him if you go boop it on the nose.
have to pop. After that hand, do you want these uh, playing cards? Got them on me? Yeah, I'll grab them from you. Gotta grab my other ones from the bank real quick anyway. How many did you say you needed? Five? Yeah. I'll do half the pot again. You got that nine, don't you? Oh, goddamn. Okay. All right, Robert. I got to give you do this thing. Well played. You as well. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. We know what you get. I will. I thought I had it in a bank and I have it in my pocket. Hey. I got black water again. God hey, titties. Yeah, but I already have one. How much do they sell for? Uh, I think the last one that was sold was either like 500 or something like that. Oh, it's, uh, it was 200 out of my but... <laughs> I meet you in the middle and I sell it to you 300. 200. Two fifty. Deal. Okay. Always oh, beat me. Right down. Wait, what? I can never reach my hand out quick enough. Really quick on hand things out. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's the same thing with Cora. She got quick hands. Hey, do you hang around San Denis much? No, but uh, Cora want me to come out there a little bit. I was. I actually just had a mock interview with her, so to speak. I, I had heard about some things going on in San Denis, and uh, I figured she might know a something thing or with two. the something with the cannibals and everything. No, I think it's I think it's uh, not even this that. I know they had a can thing with the cannibals last week, but I guess this week she told me that they're fighting uh, a power. Uh, I mean, you, you want like, you want to ride out there? Yeah, oh, that's right. See I was if anybody go. run. Okay, I want to get off that goddamn table because that guy that uh, won that thousand dollars stood up, put the money in the bank, sat there, drank a beer, and then hopped back on the table. I saw that. I noticed that, that too. Me off. I was wondering. That pissed me off. Too. Well, at first I thought he was like, all right, he doesn't want to bully folk, but... He... No, no, he don't want to bully folk, and then yeah. he want to go ahead and step up or leave the table, say he done, and then he going to put his money in the bank, and then he going to come back with $100. I mean, no goddamn sense. Yeah, no, you know, at least give folk a chance to win their money back. He's lucky I don't know nobody at that table. I would have drawn my weapon on him. I would have been like, God damn it, you better sit back down with all that goddamn money. I'm glad it wasn't just me. I didn't know who, I didn't know anyone in that goddamn saloon. I didn't know no one. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are all these people? I knew Zeke, and then I was hoping me, you, and Zeke were going to go ahead and take the table down, but you kept raising the goddamn uh, uh, I kept I kept doing ballsy ones there. And, and, Zeke, and Zeke kept raising too, so there was no way of taking out that guy that had all the money. And then we let the other guy that walk away from the table, put it in the bank and everything, get the money. And goddamn it, it pissed me off. Yeah. 
I gotta focus up. I, I, I was already a few drinks in when I sat down, so I was like, hey, whatever, oh. I'm gonna throw some fucking cards. I around. mean, I had a few, uh, few talks of my pop and everything. I mean, oh, that too. I, Don't worry, that too. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, I, I'm not playing bad, but everybody calling and everything like that when they ain't got nothing. That's why I started raising a lot, and then he started raising like 50 and everything like that, and then uh, it, it's just stupid. Yeah, I'm very leery when someone when someone has like a thousand and everyone else has like two. Or yeah. Under. And then I bet you he went and put it in, so he didn't lose it all because he gonna make a bad mistake. So now he's gonna throw a hundred on it, see if he can win again, which he already getting some good luck already. I mean, I don't know. No way, I don't care. If I can, um, hmm. Let me hit my uh, pop a couple more times and I'll head out with you. <laughs> I was about to, uh, I'm gonna go take a piss. I'll I'm gonna do the same. And, yeah, I gotta uh, do I'll that. I'm gonna back by the water. Okay. I'm gonna go sit on top of the bank. There you go. My man, I love Julian. That's always a good time. I'm gonna be right back. Dog.
I hate this song. What the fuck is this? Demand. What happened to him? I was just looking at all the sheriffs. Whoa. Blackwater got robbed uh, right as I left. Well done. And pretty much when I arrived in Valentine. You know, I've been thinking about getting another horse. Yeah. A lot of yeah, good I horses out there. I just don't know what horse I want. I need a I need a horse that ain't gonna spook too easily and something that's gonna ride along. Uh, um, that, that's mine right now. Mine just runs at the littlest sign of anything. What are you talking about? My horse? My horse runs so cool easily. But does it spook? That's what I'm saying. It spooks so easily. Uh, what you got? Uh, I don't know. Let me let me see if. He's nearby. This one, mine. I think he was on the other side. It is right down. I see him. Oh, there he is. What is that, uh... Is that a Morgan? Oh, the Arabian. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, you are... Oh, I got the black Arabian. Oh, do you? Yes, but uh, I feel, uh, you know, anytime I go by, like, an alligator or even just oh, yeah. coming they, here, they some wolves, do. fuck they, them off. They, they get spooked by, if you go fishing, if they're too close, they run away. As soon as you reel in something, it get it gets scared from the uh, reel. <laughs> really? I haven't experienced you know, that. That's stupid. But, you know... Um, Cobra said that apparently, um, Britons don't get spooked from gunshots, but I wonder if that same with the wolves and everything. Maybe. That's usually what I run into most. It's the wolves and the bears that usually, uh, give me trouble. Alligators Actually, or whatever, they're easy. Actually, how much is the Brenton? Isn't it like 900 and something? I think uh, I think it's cheaper than that. Like maybe in the fours. I wish there were a way we could put our boxes somewhere that no one can take them. Yeah, I, I, I put know. one of my boxes somewhere that no one would have ever found it, and then next thing you know, it's gone. I hid mine, but I don't remember where the hell I hid it. I had like six uh, gym pouches in it. Oh jeez. Yeah. I wish I could trade, I, I, cause I actually rent out this stable and I have a few horses and, uh, I wish I could trade mine. I think you can sell them to other people. See, the only thing is, is the Brenton, the only good ones are the Steel Gray and the Mealy Dapple Bay. I mean, the Gray is pretty cool. I mean, you know, yeah. handling's still good, speed's okay, 
I mean, if you compare it to the Arabian and everything, it's kind of close. Uh, I went for acceleration stamina. That's what I wanted most. I mean, so the Arabian Rose Gray Bay one is a little bit faster than mine. Oh, wait, yours is a little bit faster than mine. Yeah, he's a good one. Yeah, but I wanted the black one. I like yeah, that. yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not, a big, oh, I'm not no. the biggest I kind of wish college. you could kind of carry it over, you know? I'm really thinking about getting this other horse, but I don't... Hmm. Because I got the money to buy it. This be my third know. horse. But then again, I could go ahead and buy the Hungarian half breed and get the the top of the line. But then, you know, I don't I don't like that there only one one pelt for it. Oh really? Everybody gonna yeah, everybody gonna have a red one. There are already like five of them around. I've been hearing things about the uh, thoroughbred and the Turkmen. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, law riding around on Turkmen's. I wonder why. And an issue. No. Shit. Oh, maybe the health. Maybe it's the health. I don't know. Bitch. Or maybe it's all around good. Keep you in it. I would definitely get the black one. That one's a thousand fifty six. Isn't there some outrageously uh, priced horse? Yeah, that the Hungarian half bred um liver chestnut one that's like nineteen and some change. Oh uh, no way. Yeah. Emmett have that one. But it's not even worth it. Oh I mean look at it. It's all around good. It's just very pricey. Can't shop anymore, I have too many horses. Thought you could sell them. No, I think it's give them back to the stable master. Oh goddamn! Oh. Yeah, coming in hot. All right. Oh, actually, let me cook some of this food. I'm hungry. Oh, wait, can you cook here? Uh, perpetrator. Thank Hello. you very much. Hello. Oh, I didn't realize you could cook here. Oh, no. I was about to say, I, I had enough, uh, you know, sticks to help out with, uh, cooking. You don't need no sticks. Yeah, no, clearly. Give me one more second. Hey, you're good. Think about something real quick. That's fine. You can even hop on my horse if you want.
I'm sorry about that. Alright, send any. They tell you uh, where you need to meet them at? Yeah. I thought you had a conversation you had to do. It sound like the um the cannibals to be honest. check my telegram before we leave I know I already hold us up long enough no. If I am destined to meet someone, we will bump into each other on fate alone. Okay, fuck this call, let's go with you. I don't know how to get there without uh, doing a train drive. <laughs> Just keep your eyes out. I always don't trust going out this way um, at night, especially with uh, when it's seen any of these cannibals? Funny, I had a conversation with somebody last night, and or actually earlier this morning, and 
We were having a conversation about the cannibals and the blood witch. And he was like, no way. There's no way there's any blood witch or any cannibals. Yeah, that would have hurt. Town a lot too. I was kind of there when she killed um, Maya Johnson. I didn't see her do it, but I saw her carrying him at one point. I think either that or it was. Um, What's her name? Uh, Christine. Christine, whatever. Yeah, and then she would, um, like take out their hearts and some shit. I don't know. I never saw it, so I can't say it for real. see the uh, big snake over here yeah the big snake over here it it dead though it, it you know Yeah, I could have done that at Emerald. That's a snake right down. But I don't know what was over there. There is a cougar supposedly supposed to be there. I forgot. Down. I 
never heard a shot with this gun. Like riding on my own. I ain't too worried about it, but... I feel like I hit it, but for some reason, I, I don't know what the hell was going on. I think I was just shooting too fast. Back on track, we go that way. My stupid. Oh, god damn. Oh, 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 god damn it, Robert. <laughs> God sorry. damn it, Robert. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Are you? Oh, no. Are you? No. <laughs> Please tell me you got a med bag. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank God. Oh, my God, Robert. I saw Ray. I was looking at something in the lake. It looked like there were two people over there. And I was like, why are there two people just sitting in a swamp? I was looking away, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, damn. <laughs> Are you okay? You said anything wrong? Are you anything broke? No, I'm good. Just the wind knocked out of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank goodness we got this light. Yeah, thank God we went ahead and scared off the bell. It's true. I mean, it was Black Bear. It was scared anyway. I don't know what the hell that was. Was that no, a black bear? That wasn't a bear. No, I thought it was uh, uh, some sort of cat. No, that was black bear. Oh. Why would there be a bear out here? I don't know. This is a swamp. Bears don't give a shit about a swamp. I don't know why black bear is so scared. Goddamn grizzly bear so angry. <laughs> Like goddamn, I got chased. <laughs> I got chased by one of them, and I outran it. I turn around, I about shit myself, and then I kept going, and I finally shot it. Well done. What are you? What are you? What are you shooting? What is that? Um, just lich fuel. Oh, okay. I got the carbon. <laughs> so they ain't doing shit. Well, I mean, I heard that it was really good. Power-wise and everything, but I mean, it shoot kind of slow. I don't mind that. I feel like it, it's maybe I, I got. I think I gotta clean it. It shoots very like uh, you know. I think it's dead center, and then it shoots all the way to the right. Yeah, I like the carbine a little bit. It's good cheap gun. Oh goddamn! All right, all right, grab Hold my on. hand whenever you're ready. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh damn! God damn! I can't believe that just happened. Alright, calm down. Don't kick anyone. Jesus. Yeah, please don't kick me.
some fucking hot gossip about the moonshine hut. I saw some horses outside that moonshine place. Yeah, I did too. But I can't see too well right now, so I'm oh, not gonna uh, address that at all. I am curious. I'm too nosy for my own good, honestly. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> like, I would have rode around that if I wasn't all woozy. Days or just had too many whiskeys. Huh. Oh, a horse rammed up my ass. <laughs> where are we going? I don't know. Where the, where the hell the? Uh, where's the Where's the Valentine Saloon equivalent? Where's the Valentine Saloon equivalent where people where, oh, where people congregate? Um, I know Bastille is like the poker table, but um, I think I still remember where that other one is. Mm. Let me see. Keep going straight. You ever figure out how to do the mining? I mean, I know how to slam a pick into the wall and then I get some some pieces of rock that have like gold veins in it and then I sell it. And then I make some, uh, I take some sticks and this, like, weird black rock together, and I, I just kind of wrap it together and make a torch of sorts, and I sell that. Yeah. That's about it. Only time I go and do it, I try to go for the gems. Yeah, I, I get some of them, but I just sell them as is. But I remember you telling me to, you know, take a little time and cut them. Let's see. I got a, yeah, I got a, uh, gym cutter. Yeah, uh, I, may, I may honestly buy one of them bags and hold on to some gems and, and it's somewhere you over here. I this one. Yeah, I do. Nope. That's quiet. It's the one you were talking about. That I know of. I think there's the only one you were talking about. You okay? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I'm a little. I'm feeling a little. Feeling a little woozy. That's all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, I know the other saloon is the Bastille. You know, that's where a lot of people go. I try to go to the casino boat, but uh, I don't know what it is, but I, I seem to have a lot of trouble trying to um, play roulette and such. Yeah, I, I can't play roulette either. I don't know why. 
Can't seem to put my chips on the table. Go right. Those are the fellas from the poker game. Quiet as hell. I gotta go to bank. I gotta get a new doctor bag. I gotta go to the doctor's office. Yeah, it looks like you might need some bandages or something too. Mm, yeah, I think so. I'm hurting a little bit. If you want to head over there, I'm going to go to the bank. All right, let me over there then. Where the fuck's the shop?
Oh, we. What do you do? Get probe? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling much better. Need some uh, bandaging, that's all. A couple scrapes and bruises. Oh. I don't know. I wonder if it's just that time of night where everyone's just kind of tucked in. Maybe. You'd have doubt of everybody in Valentine at this point. I saw two people speeding out of town. I don't know if they were going out of town or to the telegram station, though. Where's the telegram station in town? Yeah, they're right around the corner. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going down here. Um, a week from tonight. Bunch of competitions and everything. Yeah. Well, those the two that were uh, racing out of town. They oh. must have stopped at the uh, gun store. Telegram station right here. Freaking out right there. I think that's just what the city does to horses. Yeah, you'd think so. I'm going here, see? Yeah. Not like I have any money anyway. Uh, I got $11 in my pocket. Last time I came here, they had security here, uh, making you, uh, confiscate all your weapons. Funny. I leave before they take my weapons. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I just turned right around. Like, no way. Not in this, not in this state. Classy place. Uh... Didn't give me so much trouble. What happened? The buy in? Oh, 20. I don't got enough. If I knew how to play this, I mean. Yeah, I don't know anything about crabs. <laughs> That's all nonsense to me. And then when you do this, this is just chance. Yeah. That's all I would do. I would just I just pick colors. Really? Yeah. That's what I would do now. 
I say I say we get rid of this, that table, and that table. Poker tables. Well, po yeah. yeah. I mean, they got they got rooms in here that apparently just have chairs. Really? I don't want to go down that hallway. Why? It seemed like one of these, one of them moving pictures where you just like go to the wrong area of the boat. <laughs> I know what you mean. You I know? Don't, I don't know why I'm taking a rest. <laughs> I didn't think it, it didn't look that far. <laughs> and, I, and I just pocketed some expensive looking rum, so I didn't want anyone to catch me. Now it was worth it. That was some tasty rum. I could taste the exotic fruits and spices. Oh. I put on my jacket. Hold on. secret room and you can practice cracking the safe. Huh. No. Well, I do, because I did it. I guess I never really cared too much about uh, robbing safes and everything. I don't either. It's pointless. But they got some fancy looking guns. And it's hard for me even to turn those down. Yeah. Well, now that we're passing that, I just so happen to have ten dollars, so I'm gonna grab a new doctor bag. Okay. I thought you were already doing that. I got bandages instead.
a horse right down. Oh, where? The people right down. I thought they were. There was no one here. I think I know who at least one of them are. Oh, yeah? Huh. Gonna go left. I think. Yeah, left. I'll make a little money for our troubles. Yeah. Uh -oh. Either that or go on the way out to Blackwater, but I don't know. Still don't feel like anything happening in Blackwater. Uh, Blackwater is usually a good spot for me because it's usually uh, people who write for the paper in the telegram office, and I know all of them, so I can usually sit around and chat with them for a bit, but uh, you now it's getting a little late for them, so who knows? Yeah. Only time I go out to Blackwater is if I'm selling my Sakai salmon. Oh boy. I like to go there for the po- I actually like the blackjack. I don't know why, that. Just, that's just my favorite blackjack table. It was the first one I sat at, so maybe it's nostalgia. That table- uh, taught me to never be nice on poker. Yeah. Yeah, because they come back and bite you. Oh, god damn. What the hell, babe? See, this is why San Denis is awful. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Humid. Yeah. Wet. I'm gonna take off my jacket now. No one's there. Goddamn you! It's my bush. It's <laughs> my bush.
I got it! Where the fuck do you go?
As fast as I could. Oh. Howdy, feather. You all right? Did you bring it? Who the hell are you? Oh, whoops! Sorry, I <laughs> got confused. Take care. No, no, no I'm de are. really interested in knowing what you thought we had. Oh, you beat me. Yo. I took a wrong turn. I took a bunch of right turns. Well, yeah, you, you know where you're going. I just kind of, I go where the wind takes me. I mean, you were behind me for a second. Yeah. Should have just followed. I did follow you. Then, then I, I crested over a hill and you were, you were gone. I was like, oh, oh no. You got Flint? Who's Flint? Well, I was asking if you had Flint. No, oh, no, I, I don't. I, I don't have anything on me. I've sold all that. But uh, tomorrow, uh, I actually sent a telegram to Callaway. But uh, I'm probably going to be around tomorrow. So I might do a little bit of mining to recoup my poker losses today. Oh. I don't know if you're going to be around for what that. Like doing, Dang. Oh. Depend on when. Uh, honestly, it'll be like intermittently right, throughout no. the day. I don't know. Me neither. You ride I'm a really yeah. Sure, I'll follow you anyway. Okay. I mean, you can always fish. Sure. I do love there fishing. Unfortunately, you can't yeah. fish with with friends. Yeah, that's the issue. That's what I don't enjoy. Is that uh, even even at like such a big pond like um. Aurora Basin. Just one fella there just seems to distract all the fish, and and that just no. makes no sense to me. Mm-hmm. We should be able to fight over fish. <laughs> Whoever gets the uh, yeah. I like, like that. let me go ahead and cast over there. Yeah. Maybe that's the thing. You maybe you just have to um cast right next to that person. You, you know what? You might on? be. You might be on. No, I haven't. Uh, maybe I've... we can go try it out. You got your fishing rod? It's on my horse. I mean, I mean, you act like getting your horse is so hard to do. No, no, no. Or it's in my bank. That's what I'm wondering. You know, Red still owe me like uh, four hundred dollar. Red. There's people. Him, there's people. Uh, there's people behind the saloon, and I walked up to him and started pretending as if I knew him. <laughs> I got real confused. If you know anybody that want a Grand Corgan, Blackwater, Rhodes, um, or a Valentine deck, I got them. Good to know. So all I got on me is a River Lure. Oh, all my other lures got uh eaten You only up. need the river lure. Alright, that's work. Hey there, Craig. What do I do? Oh, Is that I Craig? Never... I think so. Look. Oh. Nope. Maybe he ain't talking. Oh no, Julian, what'd you do? What? What'd I do? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that was your horse back there. 
Yeah, I saw your I horse do. and I didn't see you. I was like, mm. where'd he go? Oh, I, I had my horse following me. My horse freaked out for some reason. Jesus. I haven't even seen any fish here. Yeah, sometimes I got cast out a couple of times before they uh, show up. Doesn't look like there's anything out here. Ain't the best time to fish. 
That's right. true. Yeah, you're right. Actually, whoa, I stand corrected. There was some down river. There's some fish, but wow, I didn't realize you would get some fish. Oh, damn pickle. I don't even want you. you. Give up. Oh, I don't know. No. How, I don't know how I lost that. Oh, he broke it. I don't have another lure. Okay. Ah, well done. Why were they just running around in circles? <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. Probably did it a favor. <laughs> the hell was that? Oh, oh a raccoon. See if I can do it with this. Oh, yeah, sometimes I use other lures. Like, usually a lake lure can be used in conjunction with a uh, river lure, and it actually does work. They keep looking at it and then they go away. They're too smart for that.
I didn't even see where they went. I got one. I guess it's just harder if you use the lake one. But it does work. I get a normal? I got a normal. You get some? No. Can you at least see them? No, I can see them, yeah, but they, they seem more uh, better about you. But we'll see. They're, they're kind of going around in my lure right now. There's four of them right over to your right. I got pickerel this time. You were the first one to cast out, too. You should have got something. Right? Yeah, they, they just weren't uh, in, interested in me at all. Sometimes that happened to me, though. There you go. Finally. Look at that. Maybe it'll just take a little extra time because we next to each other. Well, you better pull that thing in. You better pull it in. <clears throat> you got this. Got a big one then. Hopefully. Woo! Ooh. Oh. How much that one weigh? Uh, feels pretty heavy, maybe in nine or so. Oh.
Do you just see three of them just pop up out of nowhere? Yeah. Got another small fish. There you go. So now we found out we can fish together. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit more uh, tricky. Especially when you ain't got the right lure. Might have to go take a ride over to that um base shop up there. Oh yeah, I usually go to that one. Oh no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. God damn! I never had that happen to me. What a son of a bitch! Whatever. I just go get me some extra ones. Little uh, little bluegill right on shore. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I threw down. I don't take them. I'm gonna be honest, my friend. I'm tired as hell, so I think I'm gonna head to Valentine. All right. Probably gonna do the same thing. Though. Yeah, I think it's this way, right?
Did I lose him? What the fuck? Sold that raccoon for a pretty penny. <laughs> so much more. Oh god damn. Oh. It's stuck in your foot. Yo, buck then. Oh, that would have been a that would have been a great exit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta remember that one. You know, I actually know a man that know how to um make this uh um the drink that actually give you a little bit more not energy but um no mechanic a little more life, you know. Oh really? Yeah, in a tight situation. Oh, is that with the uh, like tonics and mixing herbs and such? I think it just mixing herbs. Um, says something. I think it was. Um, I don't remember exactly. I think it was the red, uh, red sage or something. Oh, I saw that a lot across the bayou. I, I was with a couple folk who um, know a lot about herbs and and the like, and uh, they were real excited when they saw those. Yeah. So, I don't know. I want him to get me some so I can go ahead and see if I can cook some food with it. Oh, maybe. Maybe, you know, have a have a nice piece of meat and it really makes you feel tough. Yep. Yeah. What I plan on doing? Well, if you need the herb, then I can... I know where to find it, so I can uh, get some for you. Okay. I kind of want to test it, because, I mean, if you can give out um, food and and stuff like that, make some money. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm pro I'll probably be up early in the morning, so I may venture out there and uh, take a gander, and um, I'll set some aside for you. Yeah, and then we can go ahead and uh, do, do a little um, business, and we can make some money off of it. Good idea. Well. Well, I'm gonna I'm a debate on buying this goddamn horse. I don't know what. Hmm. Why not? You got the money. I don't know I have the money. But that money I could use for uh, poker. Well, I mean, you can use money for poker anytime. Yeah. All I gotta do is go fishing. Fishing, mining, there's oh. no end of stuff. Thomas is over there. I can probably get some poker cards from him. There you go. No. Well, you have a good night. You too, Julian. Have a good one. Yep. I'm beat. I'm gonna go to bed. But I appreciate you hanging out. Watching. Vibing. Maxing, relaxing. Shooting b-ball outside of the school. And I'm going to announce that I'm...